Hi, this is Danny Doyle. I'm here with Lilith again. Um, and I'm here with more Rinka Souls, Dark Souls Level 1, all that fun stuff. Rinka um, Souls. Well, it's because the character is Rinka. She's like modeled yes. after the Fire Emblem character. <laughs> um, so a couple of quick housekeeping notes before we get started. Um, first off, and sort of the most important one, I put it in a pinned comment, but uh, I just, I don't want to talk about the various huge political issues going on in the United States right now, and ask that you respect that, that this be sort of a, oh, my alarm, um, that this be sort of a safe space from those conversations. Um, and if the idea of a safe space makes you laugh, then uh, maybe this isn't the stream for you. Uh, the other sort of smaller things, uh, I adjusted my mic volume to be lower in comparison to the game. I felt like my mic was louder than both Lilith and the game, and it made, uh, like when I was just listening to the replay to see the audio quality, it made it a less pleasant viewing experience, in my opinion. Um, nobody complained about it, so if you would rather have my voice be louder than the game audio, uh, I can change it back, but I think this way, like, you can hear the music, you can hear the, uh, the sounds of the monsters and stuff. Um, and lastly, I am on online mode again, because I didn't notice a huge, uh, like, improvement going offline, and I do appreciate being able to see other people's messages and stuff. Um, I also, uh... I changed the stream from ultra low latency to low latency in hopes of making the video quality better. It does mean there's about a 10 second delay, maybe a little bit more, between me in real life and me on stream. So I might be a little bit slower responding to chat, but it's not the minute that uh, normal latency, which is the default, does. Because, like, a minute just feels like how am I supposed to interact with people? Um, but yeah, with that out of the way, uh, my plans for today. So, if I were not playing online, I would grind for the Jagged Ghost Blade. Thanks, I, I'm really happy with the thumbnail. Uh, those are the bosses I plan on killing. So, uh, I, I'm pretty, I'm glad you like it, Morgan. Um... So if I were playing on my own, right now I would grind for the Jagged Ghost Blade because it is actually very helpful in fighting the Stray Demon and I have six humanity. However, Saturday's stream was like more than 50% grind. Like there was the grinding to get the Dragon Quest Ring and then there was the grinding to get the large Titanite Shards. And I just don't want to do more grinding on stream. I feel like it's like there's only so much story time you can do before it becomes unentertaining to watch. So, instead, I am going to forego the Jagged Ghost Blade. I can probably put off the Stray Demon until I'm stronger anyway, because he drops a slab, and I won't need a slab until Anne Orlando, um, because that's where the giant blacksmith is. So, I can put him off until after Quelog. Instead, I'm going to work on making my Morning Star into a Holy Morning Star and making my Reinforced Club into a. Well, I want to make one into a plus 10 and one into a fire. So, with that in mind, I'm heading to Andre. Uh, I am going to go back to the Undead Asylum on this stream, hopefully, but I'm not going to fight the Stray Demon. I'm just going to fight. Uh, Oscar and the two Black Knights and, um, uh, get the Rusted Ring. And I'll get the Peculiar Doll, too. I'm not sure if I'm going to go into Painted World. There's not really anything in there that I want, and I'm not killing Priscilla because Lilith would never forgive me. I would not. Uh, like I said, this is not an all-bosses run. Like, I'm probably not going to kill Gaping Dragon. I might if I need the souls, like, later for the Pyromancy Flame. But, um, like, this isn't all bosses. I'm not, uh, going for that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? That I, like, told myself I wouldn't forget to do, but I immediately forgot to do? Attune pyromancy spells. 
Because now that I have, like, multiple pyromancies, like, that was the whole reason that we fought Capra, was to get Laurentius, and I didn't attune any more spells, like, I still just have... Yeah, I, uh, because I'm not going to use magic weapon right now. Um, there is a Black Knight I want to kill, but similarly to the Stray Demon, I don't need to kill the Black Knight until Anorlando as well, because he drops a, um, uh, not slab, what is it, chunk? It's shard, large shard, chunk. Yeah, so he drops a chunk, and I won't need chunks until the black Giant Blacksmith either, because the Giant Blacksmith is how you get lightning weapons, and the chunks I'm just going to use for lightning weapons, chunks and slabs. Oh! Whoa. Oh, hello. Uh... I don't, um, I don't know what happened there. Like, did... I, you died, is what happened No, there. I know I died. I just, I don't know how I died. Like, I know I died to fall damage, too. I don't know what happened to, uh... Like, my character just zoomed, it looked like. I'm sure I did something wrong. But it felt like I was not in control. At least I can attune magic now. The game was just trying to get me to attune magic better. Obviously. Obviously. I'm gonna go with the pyromancy flame. Maybe I can kill these guys too. Like, it's a plus five and I have fire orb. I can probably kill them. Fire orb. Yeah, gravity jump scare. Uh, POV, you're Latrec. Poor Latrec. Oh, uh, so Latrec reminded me, when you kill NPCs, sometimes you get rings, and, um, well, so Lilith is probably going to be mad at me for this. What'd you do? I didn't do anything yet. Oh, no. Damn, you've lost it, haven't you? Then I have no choice. Prepare yourself. There we go. Bye, Griggs! Um, so... Before you get too mad at me for killing an, N an innocent NPC, I just want to show you... Oh, wait, how do I... Ugh, the menu throws me off all the time. Griggs was sent... Griggs was sent to spy on and eventually kill... Big Hat Logan. And everyone loves Big Hat Logan. So let's be honest, like, he had it coming. Q Chicago. He only had himself to blame. He had it coming. He had it he coming. He had it coming. Um, oh, also, housekeeping, I forgot. I'm eating pizza right now. I got delivery, but it arrived a little later than I expected. So, like, uh, you might get some Danny eating pizza ASMR. But yeah, uh, I didn't need any more spells from him, uh, because I can't use, like, I bought the only three spells that I can use. I'm pretty sure the only three spells in the game I can use, um, because I only have ten intelligence. Which, it sucks, because, uh, so, the reason I got, ah, menu not be the worst thing ever. The reason I got this was it lets me, like, stealth around, being very, very quiet. If I combine it with the Ring of Fog, then I'm invisible and silent, which is, like, really good for sneaking. But that would, one, require me to take off the Ring of Favor and Protection, which, you know, breaks it. And two, um, to get the Ring of Fog, you need to do PvP. You need to win three PvP matches in the Forest Hunter's Covenant. And, like, I'm not doing that as a level 1 character. I can tell you already, I'm bad at PvP. Um, uh, so, unless I were to find some sort of, like, exploit to get the Ring of Fog, it's just off-limits for me. Which sucks, because Hidden Body has 14 intelligence requirement in this game. So, I can't use Hidden Body as a makeshift Ring of Fog. Um, and one of the easiest ways, like... 
Here's the pro gamer tip. If you're struggling with the Anna Orlando archers, use the Ring of Fog and or Hidden Body plus the Slumbering Dragon Quest Ring, and they will give you no issues whatsoever. They will not attack you until you get up into melee range. Um, so, like, one of the hardest parts of Anna Orlando, and those two rings just solve it, but I don't really have that option. Where am I going? I'll go over here, right. Alright, now I need to get back my six humanity. Alright. Please be nice to me, Gravity. I'm not Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah, it's helpful in others. And the slumbering Dragon Quest on its own is going to be helpful in some situations. If only, like... So it silences me, so I can get backstabs. If if they can't see me, I can, like, sneak up and get backstabs. But it's also helpful for just, like, reducing aggro ranges, because, like, sound... I mean, you saw how I use sound to bait the one dog down. So, like, sound is a thing that will aggro enemies, and... Um... Like, just not producing sound. It's very useful even without the Ring of Fog. It's just the Ring of Fog... Helps you cheese the Anna Orlando archers, and, like, I'm not above the cheese tactic, especially not in a challenge run like this. Oh, no, my souls are in the trap area. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wait, are my- where are my souls? Where are my souls? Right there. Right there. You were just over them. Oh, okay. There we go, and drink up. All right, and then I do want to get the um, red tear stone ring as well, which is across the bridge, but I'm gonna get the bonfire first for safety's sake, since I'm going in this direction anyway to get to Andre. Cheese tactics are fun. I understand people who don't want to do cheese tactics as well, like in their challenge. Like, if somebody's like, oh, I want to do soul level one, like, no cheese. Or some other challenge, no cheese. Like, that's fine. As a, uh, like, a stipulation that you set yourself. But I also, I mean, I love watching challenge runs that will use cheese to technically win via their challenge run. Um, which is always very fun. Iron Pineapple did a really fun, like, Elden Ring, Soul Level 1, cheese only. Where, like... He did a Soul Level 1 run where he just used cheese tactics for things, and I think that's phenomenal. I love that. Because, like, oftentimes the reward from the cheese tactic comes from... It's a different type of difficulty. It's figuring out how to overcome a challenge with something other than Twitch reflexes. And I love it when the Souls games give you those opportunities. Like, um... It's, it's, it's like using brain instead of brawn. Alright. Oh, that does, like, no damage. Okay, so we will, uh... We will not be fighting these guys. Climb up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, manipulating the mechanics to your advantage is just like, oh, look at these guys. Look at these. Look at that. Look at this. It's a party down there. This is crazy. Okay. Well, this is what I came for. Um... And let's get out of here. Bye-bye. Manipulating mechanics to your advantage is extremely fun to me. Um, 
And I love it when, um, I mean, just to, to relate to Fire Emblem, like, it's like AI manipulation. Sometimes I don't like doing it because, like, that can be its own challenge as well. But sometimes it's just like AI manipulation is fun. Yeah, they're not like, uh, rats. Did you know that rats can climb l ladders in Elden Ring? The drakes have wings, but they can't get up the ladder because they don't know how to fly, I guess. But rats do not have wings, and they can climb ladders. Somebody explain this, please. Well, because the rats have got the little grabby hands. Um, well, the animation is not grabby hands. The animation is just they slide up. They don't even, like, turn vertical. They just slide up while staying the same way they are. It's got to be a bug, but it's hilarious. Like, they stay, like, their feet facing the ground, and they just slide up the ladder. I've tested it over and over again, and, like, it's so weird. I don't understand it. No. I mean, that all sounds, like, perfectly normal. I'm hoping to get some moss from these guys, because I am going to Blight Town soon. Oh, is he behind me? Yeah, he's behind me. And I could use some more poison moss, and I really don't want to spend souls on it. Am I going the right way for Andre? I am going the right way for Andre. Okay. I mean, I do love stupid stuff like that, too. Like the rats. It's just like, um... It's funny to me. Alright. I don't know why you would ever not give him the large ember. Feels like a weird that they have a choice there. It was the same with, uh, Laurentius. Like, you can just insult him. Okay. Um... Oh, right, I don't have the holy yet. I have, uh... Alright, well, let's, uh, reinforce one of my clubs as far as I can get it. Alright, now I need to purchase a Titanite shard. I can only get one, right? Yeah, I can only get one. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us wants to see you go hollow. <laughs> I like how Andre just is not commenting on the fact that I am now running around with a bag on my head. Just cuz. I mean, this is all perfectly normal behavior. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go fight Moonlight Butterfly so I can turn my Morning Star Holy. And that should also give me the souls I need to upgrade, um... my club to plus five because so the reason that i'm using the club as my primary weapon and morning star is the holy one is as fun as the morning star has been with it's like i do like its move set better um because i like having a non-jump r2 like that's as the r2 for um the reinforced club is a jump attack so it, f it feels like it has one less move. Um, but the Reinforced Club deals roughly 30 more damage, even at just plus 5. And that disparity will get higher as I reinforce it more. So... Um, brain fart. Right, so, um, I think I want to switch over now, because for some later boss fights, the strategy is going to be just doing as much damage as I can quickly to avoid being engaged in boss fights for a long time. 
Yeah, Andre does respect the drip. Andre absolutely respects the drip. Alright, um, I think what we're gonna do is combustion plus fireball. Do I want to go fireball or fi I guess fire orb is more damage. The damage difference is, well, and especially because, um... So, like, Power Within boosts my attack power by, like, 40%, and Red Tear Stone Ring also boosts it by a significant margin. Um, I don't remember exactly how much, but it's, like, a bigger difference in this game than it is in any other game. Well, Demon Souls Clever Rat Ring is also a very big difference. Uh, but it's, like, 40 to 50%. It might even be more than that. Um... I know power within is 40. So the small difference adds up with like buffs deal buffs doing like more and me wanting to get more out of hits. Where are you, you bitch? I hate this boss fight so much. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should have just gone completely ranged, like fireball and fire orb, so that I didn't have to deal with. Cause like combustion's a lot of damage, was my logic. But I kind of just don't want to. Well, so that's the other problem though. Is like I miss with the ranged attacks half the time, or get knocked out of them. There we go. Nice. Uh, he's weak to fire, and it's also a plus five pyromancy flame, so, like, I just don't, I don't want to engage with this boss fight fairly. Um, also, of note, I just got the Moonlight Butterfly Soul. I'm not going to be eating it. This is not because I'm going to make a boss weapon with it, uh, because I don't think either of the boss weapons, even if I can wield them, I don't think they would be especially useful in this run. It's because, and... This is a useful tip for vanilla as well. Fromped will give you more for the boss souls than consuming them does. With the exception of Smo, because he doesn't like Smo and he gives you one soul for everything related to Smo. Um, so if you don't need the souls immediately, which I do not, saving them to feed it to Fromped is uh, always going to be the right play. Alright, 10,000... I can definitely upgrade my Reinforced Club with this. I can also upgrade Pyromancy Flame to a certain amount. Yeah, it is really funny that, um, like, literally every, like, Smo's Armor, Smo's Hammer, Smo's Soul, he gives you one for each of them. Um, oh my god. And it's to sort of reinforce in the same way that, uh, everyone in the world fucking hates Godric, gets reinforced through mechanics. Everyone in the world fucking hates Smo gets reinforced through mechanics, and the mechanic is Fromped will not pay you for Smo related items. Because Smo eats people. Spoilers, like for the lore, Smo eats people. And, uh, my hot take of the day, eating people, not approved by the Danny Doyle channel. What? Um, right, I don't need to reinforce. Uh, I should probably repair, well, no, this is going to get repaired automatically. Do I need to repair my armor at all? Ah, uh, it's mostly fine. I'll repair the sack. Because it's important that we keep our sack pristine. Gotta respect the drip. 
Oh, I should probably change to Fireball, Fireball. I mean, if you are not on board with my anti-eating people... Where's the attune magic? Eating people stance? You know, that's just an unreconcilable position. Um, and, like, it'll suck to lose you as a subscriber, but I'll understand. It's not for everyone. You know, Sweeney Todd used to be a huge fan of mine. Um, and then I came out with my radical anti-eating people positions, and, uh... Just hasn't been the same since. Nice, Purple Moss. So that's the moon in the thumbnail taken care of. And hopefully, next up will be the pinwheel. Stop that. Stop it right now. Um, I'm not looking forward to dying at pinwheel on stream and getting laughed out of the room. Like, I'm not looking forward to first try getting through the bone wheels, but then somehow dying to pinwheel. Because that's going to happen. I'm glad I've convinced you. I know I said no politics, uh, but my only political position is no eating people. And I will proselytize my... Proselytize? What's the word? Proselytize. I will proselytize my anti-eating people stance for everyone to hear. My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I can produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Well, thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. Andre, you are my everything. I think I need four of these? No, I need five. Well... I need more than that, but at the moment, I only need five. Let's see. We will bring it up to plus five. Then modify equipment. Um, I'll make the reinforce club plus six. And the morning star divine. Greater than number. Andre is greater than numbers. No, I don't want to turn that divine. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. And equip. Uh, now we're going to be equipping the club. Uh, they deal the same amount of bleed. The club is a little bit slower. Like, that's its fast attack. And here's its slow attack. Or its heavy attack is uh, is the jumping attack. And then two-handing, its heavy is still a jump. So, like, that's why I was avoiding it in the early game. But I do think the damage difference is going to be a big deal. And I'm probably going to be relying on a lot of R1s anyway for, uh, like, the scarier bosses. Plus, just, like, having easy access to a jump attack is helpful in some situations. I, I think I prefer... Like, it's a good noob weapon, and I don't mean that as, like, an insult to people who are new. Like, the t if you have trouble executing a jump attack, the Reinforced Club is a good weapon to use because it just gives it to you at the press of a button, which is really nice. There. I'm just making my way back to Firelink, but uh, 
Since I don't need to get the red tear stone, the fastest way is the elevator. And I might as well kill these guys, because they have a chance of dropping Titanite, and they are going to drop souls, and, like, both of those are things I want. Yeah, might as well. Because I do still have a need for regular Titanite shards for my second Reinforced Club. Which is going to be the fire one. And that needs to get to plus five to become fire. Um, and that one, the reason that the second one is going to be fire is that I'm going to be going to Vamos soon. Um, because Vamos is in the catacombs. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I understand hating using it. I like having a variety in my moveset, so I totally understand not liking using it, um, but I do think, I mean, my first playthrough was with uh, the Reinforced Club. I was uh, wearing full Havel armor, and I used the Reinforced Club, I think it was just a raw, or not raw, a uh, standard one, like an, an unaltered one, oh, well, I'll plus 15. Um... Yeah, we can go up to plus six. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. And then uh, I think I'm gonna go to the Undead Asylum before I go to the Catacombs. Uh, again, I'm not gonna fight the Stray Demon. Oh right, these guys all showed up. Uh, fun fact about these guys: if you kill Petrus before they show up, they'll be all three of them will be hostile on you. But I'm 100% convinced it's a bug and not an intended feature because they'll be attacking you. And when you land your first attack on them, despite the fact they're attacking you, they will give the voice line of being surprised that you attacked them. So, like, they're clearly not supposed to be hostile, but they're just linked to Petra's hostility. Which makes sense because they're the same faction, but, like, Big Cat doesn't go hostile on you if you kill Griggs before he shows up. It's only after. There we go. A little bit of Dark Souls platforming. And uh, now just the uh, hashtag millennial experience. Curl up into a ball and wait. While I eat my pizza. Curled up in a ball. Pizza. This wait always feels like just a little bit longer than it should be. I do appreciate that uh, the camera paused to show me curled up with my sack on my face. <laughs> These torch haulers are scary. Also, Morgan, you pretended to be a egg earlier. I mean, that's just, that's just a very relatable experience, TBH. Anyone who says they don't do it, like, they're lying. But yeah, the torch hall is very, very dangerous. Uh, they will stagger the shit out of you. And I think these ones are stronger than the ones in the depths. Um, let's... Do I want any sort of different spell? No, I think this is uh, I think this is what I want. 
I think I just want double fireball. Um, because I'm not really going to be using the fireball on the Black Knights, because they have such high fire resistance. Um, because the Black Knights are Gwyn's Silver Knights that got burnt. Oh, ooh, okay. Never mind. They're, uh, the Silver Knights that got burned when they went into the fire with him, which is why they're black now. Uh, so they have, like, such ridiculously high fire resistance that I think the Reinforced Club plus the Weed Shield is the way to go. I was trying to parry, but, uh, I guess I'm a little rusty. Because, like, this one you can't really do the backstab on. You have to do the parries. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm messing up the timing. Big time. I could also just do this. Well, I don't have the reach for it. Fuck. I used to be so good at parrying these guys. Make sure not to leave your knights in the oven for too long. They'll end up too toasty. This is... Uh, yeah, I do have the plus six one. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't wielding the uh, other one by accident. Alright, come here. Come here, let me parry you. Let me do at least once to show off. There we go. See? See? I still got it. Yeah, you do. I do not. <laughs> Now I'm panic parrying. You've heard of panic rolling. Now I'm panic parrying. Ooh, right in the dick. Uh, Fuck. You left it in the oven too long and your night became a K-day. Or I guess the K is silent there. So it's just a day. I castorized him and then he beheaded me. Come- Ah! Fuck! I swear I'll get this guy. All right. Well, I can uh, I can at the very least enchant my weapon. Is what I can do, since like I'm not using the fireballs anyway. Tune magic. Turn one of these fireballs into magic weapon. Uh, and what rings do I have? I have Lingering Dragon Crests. I mean, let's do RTSR, just because, um, he's been getting me to, he's been getting me to low health a lot, so I might as well make use of that buff when it, when it happens. I haven't been intentionally setting up RTSR, but, like, it's been happening because I suck. TSR is active. Also, I'm dead. Like, lingering's not gonna do anything for me there, because I mean, it's a hallway fight. It's... I don't think it's going to be a long-lasting fight. Other than, like, just me dying constantly, instantly.
I just need to get like three or four parries on him. Oh. Sippy sippy. Sippy here. Get some sunny D. Alright, and then. Sippy sippy. Oop. Over back step. There we go. Alright, so I got a red chunk from him. Uh, those are going to be useful in a long time. I need to get the uh, large ember for Vamos, and then that lets me upgrade my flame weapons from plus 6 to 10 total with the chunks. Um, let's magic up this one, because there is another night as well around here also Oscar's still alive again but he's evil oh is this where I fight Oscar actually yeah this I fight Oscar first okay fat rolling Oscar's fat rolling Ooh, Oscar uh, Oscar hits like a truck Sippy sippy. Okay, backstab? No backstab. Ooh. Oh, I have RTSR active, though. Ooh. So that's nice if I don't fucking die. I fucking died. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. The Black Knight, because the Black Knight doesn't respawn. So like um I can fight I can just go fight Oscar now. He's mad because I killed him instead of listening to his dialogue. That's what's going on. Oh, I actually think I need to go back to Firelink. Cuz I think I forgot something that I actually need. I think there's a key on the roof of Firelink that you need for Undead 2, Undead Asylum 2. So I think I, oh, Oscar uh, was not aggroed on me. Oh, backstab. You usually just, oh my God. Earth support Oscar, yes. Uh, Oscar, the, the, the bad cavalier. No. Oh, 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 I have RTSR active, but I'm also like fucking dead. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. I mean, my hot take on Oscar is that I know that opinions are turning around on him, and, like, Oscar Bad isn't the worst take ever. I don't think he's terrible, but I do think that even now he's still overrated in the community, because, um... So... I don't know how much credit he gets for his early utility. I don't think he should get much credit for his early utility, because the fastest way to clear those maps... And in my opinion, the best way to clear those maps is to just Titania solo, because then you get a bunch of bonus experience that you can spend on characters who are not Oscar. So, like, Oscar can, like, visit a village in Chapter 1 and, like, do a little bit of combat in Chapter 2, but, like, all the other um, early maps that he's on are Kill Boss, or uh, there's an Escape map as well. So it's like, he's not really doing much in the Kill Boss slash Escape maps. I guess chapter 7 he can do things in. But like even like the training of him doesn't make sense experience wise either because you get more experience from bonus XP than you do from training Oscar. Boulder 
got you, bitch. I got you with the boulder trap. Uh, the crest shield is going to be useful. <laughs> but I do think I need to go back. I, I, yeah, I fucked up. I need to get... There's a key. There's this Asylum Floor 2 key is on the roof of Firelink, I think. So, I fucked up. There's just so much to remember in this game. And Rink of the Sack Girl is trying her hardest. Now it's fast. The first time, it takes so long, though. Like, every time I do it for the first time, I always think, like, oh, is there some requirement that I forgot to meet? But no, there's no requirement. You just gotta curl up like a ball and wait for forever. Like, last time, when I was doing my punching playthrough, I was like, oh, shit, do I need to kill the gar- Because I hadn't killed the gargoyles yet. I wanted to get, uh, some stuff from Undead Asylum before killing gargoyles. And I was like worried that I've forgotten to do something, but it's like, no. No, you just gotta wait. Alright, so this is... I think this is the key I need. Yeah. And then we go, woo! It's ballin' time. Woo! Time for egg. Time for egg. Can I, can I offer you an egg in these trying times? <laughs> It's a great show. Alright. I'm ready for my close-up. Egg. I'm ready for my close-up. It's my close-up. The beauty shot. The sack girl. Rink of the sack girl. So, mechanically, I understand. Oh, these guys stay dead. Okay, hold on. These guys stay dead, despite the fact that there's a cutscene between this zone and Firelink. But the fuckers in the sewer that are so hard to get when you go out, come back to life even when there's no cutscene? I, do you remember that from last weekend? Like, those yeah, fuckers, I remember that. The fuckers by the door showed up, and the best we could come up with was, oh, maybe it's like a area transition thing. But these guys stay dead, and they're easy to kill with the fireball. Sounds like some bullshit to me. I think it's just that that guy standing outside the sewer is such a son of a bitch. It's a close-up of the bird's feet! Oh my god! Miyazaki, why? Miyazaki has no shame. And then this is gonna make me medium roll, but I don't care at the moment. Because I'm not, like, rolling for the knights. I'm using the shield. Alright, so there's also going to be a knight. Uh, I think the, the other knight is in my cell. So, I have to go, like, a different way to get it. 
the cell is also where the peculiar doll is, so that's I'm like I'm going there anyway. Alright, so this is what I needed the key for. And this is the most important thing to get from Undead Asylum. Rusted Iron Ring, my beloved. Because, like, <laughs> our next stop is, well, Catacombs. But then after that, our next, like, story stop is Blight Town. Um, so, like, it's just, it's so, it's such a big deal. It's like a ring that you wear for five seconds, but... Good golly, does it make those five seconds fucking tolerable? Alright, and then... I don't want to trigger Stray Demon, because if I do that, I can't get these souls back. Nope, nope, come on, come on. Oh, Ryan, I never lit this bonfire, did I? Lol. Alright. Enchant this weapon. It's go time. There should be another Black Knight down here. Somewhere. Honestly, I probably should have done Asylum 2 before doing the depths because there is the deep water section in the depths where I fell for the slime. Come here, buddy. So these guys dropping red titanite chunks is a little bit weird because for the most part, the knights drop chunks based on what weapon they're wielding. So like Halberd drops the uh, blue ones. Greatsword drops the regular ones, and, um... But these guys have greatswords, yet they drop red. Which is, like, a little weird. Like, they don't follow the pattern. Yeah, that is kind of odd. But it's only the two in the asylum drop red. Every all the other great sword ones drop standard. Okay, come on. I actually kind of want him to damage me through the shield because it's like does a little chip and I can get to RTSR with it. There we go. I'm at RTSR. Okay. Now I don't want him to damage me. Ooh, 82. That's actually pretty decent for a non-crit. And dead. And dead. Does it match with the Fate's Weapon Triangle? I guess swords are red, but like, th so the the greatsword ones in the regular world, like not in the Undead Asylum, drop standard. Like, they drop the black ones. Is why I say, like, it's weird that they don't fit the pattern. I'm just, uh... I'm not a fan of when games establish a pattern and then break it in ways that are, uh... Like, not super... Understandable. 146, and that's without the RTSR boost. Pretty nice. Oh, uh, camera, camera is focusing on the butt. His big chonky black knight butt. Oh, oh, fucking stance broken. Okay. Uh, so I do have RTSR, but like now I'm actually worried about, uh... Ooh, fuck. Okay. Come on. 
Karma just wants you to know that he's dummy thick. Okay, I think I need to drink. Or crit. Got a good angle for the spanking. 405. I don't know if that was nice. with magic weapon or not, because magic weapon wore off like right around the time I was doing it, but I don't know if it wore off before or after. Also, getting the doll, in case I decide I want to go to... I think there's some, uh... I think there's some red chunks in the painted world. And I, I... It would be nice to get a plus 10 fire. I'm not sure how much, if at all, I'll be using it, but... You know, be nice. I like having options. Just give myself 16 fireballs. Uh, the other thing about Stray Demon, Stray Demon is weak to fire as well. So, while the Jagged Ghost Blade would be good because Stray Demon is weak to uh, bleed, and the Jagged Ghost Blade's R2 builds up a lot of bleed, which is why I would want it for that fight, and basically just that fight. Oh shit! Oh shit, fuck. Ah, now I'm stuck in the door. Um, I might be able to do it without, like, especially once I upgrade my pyromancy flame. All the fire. All the More fire. More fire. Do -do -do. Uh, and now I can, I think I can plus seven my Pyromancy Flame before heading down to Pinwheel. Whee! Soaring with the bird. Burb time. The drone. Attack drone. Because, uh, birds aren't real. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Roll onto the roof. Let me in. There we go. Let me in. Whee! Hello. I mean, I accidentally got an RTSR set up, but uh, I do not want to go into the catacombs with RTSR on. Uh, I think what I want to do is... I think I have to accept that I'm mid-rolling in the catacombs because I want to have the um, Morningstar as an option for finishing them. And the Morningstar is going to deal less damage because now it has, like, faith scaling instead of just, like, the normal amount it would deal. Uh, like, it's split damage between magic that scales off of faith and physical. So it's, like, just... It's going to be a worse weapon overall than the Reinforced Club, even though that's more damage. So I want my Reinforced Club to be like my day-to-day, -day, and then this just to finish off the Skellingtons. Which I think, yeah, I'm mid-rolling. Uh, which I, I, I guess I could take off my clothes. Would that put me down to fast roll? No, it does not, so I might as well. Might as well wear, like, some actual good armor. Since I'm gonna be mid-rolling anyway. I just have to stay under 50%. Like, haul a soldier armor. And... I 
I guess heavy boots would be the thing. And uh, black leather gloves, yeah. And I am at 20 out of six. So look at me, look at me. Look at the sexy beast that is Rinka. That is certainly a look. Yeah, now it scales between two stats that I don't have. And um, because it's split damage, we're going to go back to Gargoyle too, just because we don't care about weight at the moment. Um, hell yeah, look at me. Hell yeah. Looking fun. How would you feel if that bowed at you from across the PvP arena? I would feel terrified. fear. And I think I can upgrade the club to plus seven. Yeah, come on, where are you? I should really just put things in the bottomless box. Oh no! I killed the undead male merchant, and he's the only person who sells the bottomless box. <laughs> Fuck, I'm stuck with all this garbage in my inventory now. <gasps> oh, it's fucking karma. It is, this is karma. Oh! Fuck! The other thing I forgot, because you mentioned Moss. Um, no, you didn't. You said most. It dropped in at the most right time. I thought you said Moss. I, but you unintentionally reminded me of something I needed to do. I keep forgetting to do things in Undead Asylum 2. Uh, that was, it's the most, this is the most sloppy Undead Asylum 2 trip I've ever done in my life. Like, if this was a speed run... This is why I don't speedrun, not because I'm afraid of pulling off the trips and glitches and stuff, but because I forget to do things on trips to areas. Um, like, I'm vaguely interested in speedrunning some games, but I would absolutely forget to do things, especially in a Souls game, I would forget to do things that you need to do, and then just, like, have to go back to an area. God damn, I'm so bad at this. Uh, also, doors are difficult. All right, time for egg. Oh no, the consequences of your actions. <laughs> yeah. Lilith, could you do me a favor and look out the bottomless box just to make sure I can't get it somewhere else? Yeah, DS1. No, that's type that in wrong. Did you, type, did you do the typo that I always do, where you type DA instead of DS, and then you get information no. for Dragon Age? No, I accidentally did DS2. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think you get it for free in all the other Souls games. Like, you only have to buy it in uh, in Dark Souls 1. Even in uh, Dark Soul, or in Demon Souls, it was free, because Stocktile Thomas did it for you. Uh, nope, there is another location, actually. Another merchant sells it. Who? Oh, it's Domnal. Who? Domnal? Do Domnal. Oh, Domnal. Um. Oh, that's the guy who's like in the depth. God damn it, I don't want to go to fucking depths! Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's the guy who hangs out in the depths with like the carpet. Yeah, that's the one. Um, god damn it. Oh, Lilith, Jacob is making fun of you using Fire Emblem. Ugh, how dare. Alright, where is the crow? I mean, you know, granted, Dragon Girl is kind of goals, but... Uh, no, not this one. This one's cringe. This one is, <laughs> is, like, a cringe... In general, I mean. This one is your cringe incest sister who has a pocket dimension, and she was produced by your father having sex with himself through asexual production. Okay, here's the crow. Right? Well, that's not incest, then. That's just 
No, 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 she, um... Oh, no, I guess Azura is the incest dragon. Because you can't have sex with... Okay. Where is... Where do I talk to the crows? Do you remember where I, where you go to talk to Dimna and, uh, like, the trading crows? Because I see their nest there, but I can't talk to them there. Where was that? So I have to give them some moss. Wasn't it on a roof somewhere? No, that's Dark Souls 3, I think. No, Dark Souls 3, it's on the roof of, like, Evil Fire Link. Yeah, that's the or, one. I mean, I call it Evil Fire Link because I think Dark Souls 3 lore is stupid. Um, I mean, do they not talk to me? I know in Dark Souls 2, they talk to you. Maybe I... Okay, we'll try it with the blood mon because I don't care if I lose extra blood. Drop. One. Quit game. Because, like, that's their nest. You leave it in the nest and then save and quit and load. You never played Demon Souls. Is he good? Um, Stockpile Thomas is is an absolute bro. Uh, I would highly recommend Demon Souls if you have access to it, which, like, requires you to either have a PlayStation 3 or a PlayStation 5, and, um... Neither of those are, like, super easy to get. And I also don't know if I would recommend buying... If you can get a cheap PlayStation 3... Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Trade. Give me warm. Give me soft. Okay, so I got Twinkling from that. And then I can get it again two more times for the other two mosses. So that's why there's a blood stain because someone's pressing circle to exit out of the menu and then accidentally backstepping off the edge, I think. Oh, but yeah, I would highly recommend Demon Souls. Um, if you have the ability, if you can emulate it as well, because PS3 emulations come a long way. I, um, I haven't looked into it because I own a PlayStation 3 and all the games I would want to play on it. But you, PS3 you, emulations, like, actually come a pretty long way. All right, and then Blooming Moss. Which, unfortunately, I only have one, so I'm losing my only Poison Moss, or Blooming Moss. But, uh, it's fine. It's whatever. It's not, like, toxic is the worst status in the world. I see Jacob is trying to, to take Lilith's job of sabotaging me. Yes. But, yeah, I'm outsourcing. Grips. If you have the ability to, definitely play Demon Souls. So yeah, that's uh, Twinkling Titanite. That'll come in handy later, because like I said, I'm not, I'm not grinding for the jagged ghost blade on stream. I did enough grinding last time, um, and honestly, even if I was going to use the jagged ghost blade, I think a plus zero jagged ghost blade would be good enough for what I want it to be. Which is just, like, the bleed proc on... Because upgrading it doesn't increase the bleed. And you just want the bleed proc on Stray Demon. And possibly Demon Fire Sage, but we're skipping him because I'm doing Solaire's Quest. You will always sabotage me. I hear your laughter ringing in my ears every time I do something stupid. Alright. Now to fight Pinwheel, and like I said, I'm almost certainly going to die to him on stream and everyone can laugh at me. <sighs> Wait, am I fat rolling? I'm not fat rolling, right? Fat rolling's 50%. Yeah, so that's just, the mid roll is just much slower than I'm used to. What's up, fellas? Nothing to see here. But yeah, that's the reason I didn't kill Petrus, because um, I didn't want to have to fight the 3v1 when they showed up. Yeah, Sekiro, I liked Sekiro. Um, I would argue that Sekiro is not a is not a Souls game because there's no build variety. There's no level ups. Like, it's an action game, and it borrows some things, but, like, there's no stamina. Stamina is a big deal in terms of being a Souls game. There's no build variety. Um, just the, the way that it works is it's a fun action game. Um, 
but I would not call it a Souls game, per se. But if you liked Sekiro, um, Demon's Souls is very, very, very different. Um, Sekiro is probably the hardest of the Souls games, or uh, not Soul of the- I just said it's not a Souls game. Sekiro is probably the hardest of the games that From Software has made. Simply because in the other games you can get around it by like leveling up more or using a different strategy. Whereas Sekiro just demands learn how to do what we want you to do. Which like, personally, I enjoyed the type of combat Sekiro wants. I'm probably never going to replay it again. But uh, I liked it. Yeah, no, Sekiro is not a Souls game. I will stick to that. It's the hardest From Software game. But it's not a Souls game. It's a character action game made by From Software. Oh wait, no, these ones don't need. I want to test out what deals more damage. So let's look at. Let's do some numbers. R1 with this, 84. R1 with this, 38. Yeah, so it's like. It's not even close. Like, this is just for. Um. Honestly, this is just for this trip to the catacombs, because I will be using the, um, I'll be using a different divine weapon for my fight with Nido, and I'm guessing most people know what weapon I'm referring to, but just in case some people don't, I do want to sort of leave it as a, uh, I'll explain it when I get it. There we go. Uh, if you have not played Dark Souls 1 before, uh, the area I didn't go to, instead of going down the stairs, if you just went forward, there's a very good weapon, the Zweihander. It is a low stat requirement and relatively light ultra great sword. Um, definitely recommended. If you are look like it is a good, just like the reinforced club, it's a good first player, first playthrough um, weapon. Okay. No, don't. Oh, now he's gonna revive. Oh well. Yeah, here he comes. I just don't want to be dealing with them while I'm fighting the necromancer. There we go. Well, I mean, Morgan, who doesn't love a good Spy Honda? It is also a fun name to say. Spy Honda. Skeletons play casual Sp mode. Yes, they do. No, skeletons play Phoenix mode. They revive on the same map. The Spy Honda. You gotta, you gotta get it like a, a fake German accent. No, you don't. Saying Spy Honda is already a fake German accent. You can't not say it without it. It just doesn't work. Oh, I died. Well, Rasta and Pasta. Um, I can I can change my attunement up as well, because there's something different I wanted to For the cat I was gonna wait until the catacombs uh like the, the catacombs bonfire to do it, but I might as well do it here. Um Arl decoy I guess we'll go with magical weapon. No, well, actually, um, because magical weapon's bad because I keep switching weapons. Um, Hush, I do not have the <sighs> attunement or the intelligence for, so I guess we'll have soul arrow and then change uh, pyromancy because we'll do that. Am I? I'm not overloaded, am I? Yeah, we're still 27. We're still mid-rolling. Where do I go? Oh, I go up here. So the catacombs, because Jacob mentioned kicking them into the pit, um, you can bait them into jumping into the pit using Aural Decoy. Which, uh, I should probably switch RTSR for the Sneaky Ring. I do have to free aim. 
But if you, like, free aim, you can get them to jump into pits by, like, free aiming at walls and stuff. And now they're attacking the area where I set down my decoy. But, like, the catacombs in particular has a lot of, uh, areas where you can do that. Oh, fuck. Uh, staircase, staircase, staircase. Because, um, it does have to hit a surface, but... Oh, yeah, someone, someone jumped off the cliff. It does have to hit a surface, but, um... Here we go. Ooh. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, the binoculars not for Gwyn's chamber, but for better free aiming. Um, but I don't remember where the binoculars are. No, you can't use them to get them to fight other enemies, unfortunately. Um, but it's, it's mostly for, like, use as a distraction, but you can also, like, like, here, if you get them to attack, uh, not here, like, that area, then they'll, like, jump off the cliff to go for it, for example, and there's a lot of areas like that in the catacombs before Pinwheel. It's not an effect that lasts particularly long. Oh, fuck, I forgot to switch weapons. Uh, in Dark Souls 2, it actually lasts a lot longer. Um, it's the same effect that the Alluring Skulls have, except for it actually affects more enemies than the Alluring Skulls do. Because um, it's based on noise as opposed to like them attracting specific enemy types. The binoculars are near the giant skeleton near the Zweihander. Okay, I'll get them on the way back up then. Um, because I do have to go through the catacombs a second time to, uh, get to the, the, to the Nido fight. Okay. Get them off my trail. And then, oh. Get them off my trail. Oh no! Go for the decoy! And then, hello you. Okay, and now they will not, these ones won't revive, but I do still need to kill them in order to get the bonfire. Oh fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. Unfortunate. Oh, you've beaten it twice now? I knew you went did it once. Did you do the DLC on your second playthrough? Um, cuz I know you missed the DLC the first time. And I think the DLC is some of the best uh content in Dark Souls 1. Like I love the Artorius fight. They can't revive if I don't kill them. That is technically accurate. Um, I am planning on backing up my save file before I kill Gwyn, because I want to finish the run, but I also want to try the DLC at some point. So I'm going to back up my save file so that I can do the DLC Soul Level 1 at some point. Um, I just, like, I don't see myself beating Artoria Soul Level 1, and I don't want it to be the thing that stops me from finishing the playthrough. But I would love to be able to try. There we go. There we go. Okay, so you said the binoculars are near where the Zweihander is, right? Do this. Um. So we will just do this. Thank you. 
No, 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 go for the decoys! Go for the decoys! No! I've been betrayed! Hold on, I see a comment about Bloodborne, but I, I have to run away first. No, ah, uh, no, 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 sir, no, sir, no, sir. Okay. Uh, oh, nope, wrong item. Uh, bye, nose. Okay. I've got six humanity on the line, so I, like, would like to not die. Fuck. This whole, uh, mid-rolling thing is not working out well for me. Have well, you considered not mid-rolling? It's okay, I can mid-roll, I said. The catacombs, I don't- I just need to accept that I'll mid-roll. And then this shit happens. Okay. Can I decoy some of you? At least the giant skeleton can't fit in here. I do need to watch out because there's one... If I go too far down... Oh! It's at the end of his leash. Okay. So... You're not gonna... You're not gonna fuck me, are you? Okay. Oh yeah, Bloodborne comment. Um, I played Bloodborne, but it was really scary. My friend told me the Demon Souls is more scary. Um, the remake actually isn't that dark. It is, like... So Bloodborne is, like, very much steeped in horror. So it is... I would say Bloodborne's probably the scariest of the Souls games. Um, the remake isn't as dark, but some of the, like, spooky sections of the remake are definitely spookier. Um, the Tower of Latria 3-2 is... The Tower of Latria 3-2 in the remake, I felt like I was... I felt like I was in a horror game. It's so creepy. Um, I love it because I love the horror stuff. But if you were, if if you if you stopped playing because it was too scary, I'm not sure that the remake would solve those problems. Uh, maybe the PS3 version with the brightness turned up because it would be less dark. Um, so it's less like ambushy stuff. Also, yeah, the souls were not dark. That's why it's Demon Souls, not Dark Souls. Dark Souls to Demon Souls, my darkness is darker than yours. Okay, we got those exploding skulls. They actually helped me out. Okay, decoy time? Alright, ladder down. We. I'm not even gonna take any chances. I'm just gonna like use the decoys and then kill them while they're attacking the decoys instead of what I did earlier. Woo! Now you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're, you're dead, dead. You're dead. It's uh, if anyone has not seen what we do in the shadows, watch what we do in the shadows. It's. I haven't seen the movie, but the TV show is phenomenal. And it, the premise is, um, what if vampires were extremely socially awkward because they've been alive for thousands of years and just, like... I mean, if you've ever, inter 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 ever interacted with an old person who just, like, is awkward because they haven't kept up with things... That's okay, you're, you're allowed to be a scared person. Like, horror isn't for everyone, it's a niche genre. Um... It's possible that the Dark Souls uh, might be a better fit if you wanted to dip into the Souls series than Bloodborne. Just because Bloodborne is... Ooh. I mean, I say that as I walk into creepy bug neighborhood. Ooh. Alright, so there are parts of Dark Souls that are... Um... There are sections of every Souls game that are spooky-themed, but... I would say that Bloodborne is the only one where the majority of the game is spooky themed. Um, I mean, this area is literally called the Catacombs. Oh, I have to rest at that bonfire. 
so that it'll be my checkpoint. So, like, it is definitely, it leans into the spooky. Um, and the boss of the area is, uh, the giant spider queen. Um, I would say kill it with fire, but she's actually immune to fire damage. I don't find Quaylag to be, uh... No! He parried me! Oh no, they just... The servants with eggs growing on their back just want a hug. Honestly. And Engi, the leader of the egg cult, he's a sweetheart. Why would you not give them... Why would you not give them a hug when you have the opportunity to? Okay. Oh. I see you're copying my strategy. So yeah, these guys do like diving attacks. So if I can use the RL decoy and get them to just like jump off into the cliff. Um... Then, like, yes, please. Okay, can I soul arrow you from here? Uh, it knocks him back, so eventually it's probably not gonna reach. Yeah, now I can't lock on anymore. Ooh, and he also, he's getting spicy. Can I... I could use the binoculars to free aim, I guess. He's not going to come any closer. Um. Oh, stop throwing fireballs at me. Oh my god, so obnoxious. Got you. And backstep? No backstep. Got you with the holy damage. Well, it's actually magic damage, but it's the holy wet. You know what I mean. Um, I remember not knowing that the pit wasn't bottomless, so I kicked the skeleton. Oh, no! How the turns have tabled, indeed. It's okay. I've got a... Uh, I've got... Spells from my good friend Griggs, to whom nothing bad will ever happen. No, come back! Oh, he knows what I do to my friends. Unlike Ike, I don't fight for my friends. I fight my friends. You fight your friends? I, I fought Griggs. Oh! Sneak attack from behind. There we go. Okay. Uh, is there another skeleton in this room? I know there's an archer. Oh, I see him. I would like to lock on to him before he starts running away. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, I have a more range than you. It's not fair that his fireballs have, like, a longer range than mine. Because that's my big complaint about the fireballs. It's just, like, doesn't have the range I wanted to. There we go. Okay, so now I can just, uh, use the reinforced club for these guys. Instead of the holy mace. I always felt like the holy weapon should do bonus damage to the skeletons. But I guess it makes sense that, like, it's just the stop them from reviving. It doesn't do any bonus damage. I'm already out of Estus. Um, and I've only killed one Necromancer. But, like, that still feels like progress because the Necromancers don't respawn. Ah, oh, Lucerne. Yeah, I call them Skellingtons. 
What would you call them? Enemies just choose to have more range. Yo, his fireball had more range than soul arrow. Like, that's not fair. Got you, got you, got you. Clicky clacky calcium. <laughs> Clicky clacky calcium. Alright, I know there's more skeletons, but I think I'll go this way instead. Ooh, okay. And we RL decoy? Oh, that guy just decided to jump off the edge for no reason. Uh, there's another necromancer on the other side. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, there's too many of them! Oh, fuck! The clicky clacky calcium and the skellermans, they've they've teamed up on me. Hi Dretheon. How are you? I'm getting murdered by skeletons and clicky clacky calcium and and skellermans. They're all they're all killing me. And I haven't even gotten to the bone wheels yet. Squeleton. Yeah, um I think it's I think it's a mixed bag whether the skeletons or the dogs are scarier. Um, because the skeletons you have to do the whole thing where you like you have to kill the necromancer or else use a holy weapon. And if you're not doing a cleric build, which let's be honest. Ah, I get no Dark Souls one. Cleric builds are like fine in Dark Souls one. Okay, we'll go like there, I guess. Yes! Jump off the edge! Dump, dump, gravity, dump. my beloved. Because they do die from the gravity. The only reason they were alive when you got down there, Jacob, is um, uh, the necromancer brought them back to life. And then they just, like, were stuck down there. Okay. There's a bow guy there. Come on, Oh, that's like no damage. Do the skeletons have magic resistance? I guess they must, because like I'm dealing less to them than I was to the necromancer. It was like 50 to the necromancer. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna use soul arrow for much other than killing necromancers anyway. Yeah, lightning javelins, that's the, the they're good in this game. As a, oh, right. I learned last time that the parry stance is a thing, that it wasn't just random, but I'm still getting used to, like, thinking about, oh, this must be this character's parry stance. So I'm still gonna get parried when I, like, really shouldn't. The Bone Boys are easier to fight. Yeah, the morality, like, can video games stop putting dogs in them? I don't like killing animals, and I especially don't like killing dogs. L plus parry plus again. Oh. I heard someone come to life. Someone's gonna ambush me. Oh no. It was not in this direction. Which means I'm getting ambushed from the other side. Yeah, so this is this is why I resisted the reinforced club for so long. Because I went for a heavy attack there and it was a jump. Uh, no, Dark Souls 1 is a different game from Demon Souls. Demon Souls is, uh... So Demon Souls was a PlayStation 3 game. It takes place in, uh... Oh, what's the the land in Demon Souls? Uh, fuck. Boletaria. And the surrounding kingdoms. And it is about, um... The king of Boletaria, uh... 
brought demons into the world trying to, like, gain power, and now you have to go around and kill all the demons. Dark Souls is in, uh, Lordred, and it is about trying to end the Age of... Either end or continue the Age of Fire. You sort of make a choice between being the, the Age of Dark or the Age of Fire. Um... And there we go. Skellington. Die, die, die. But yeah, they're, um... Demon Souls is completely removed from the world of Dark Souls, uh, lore-wise as well. Um, mechanically, they are pretty similar. Some people refer to it as, like, the Alpha Dark Souls. I don't think that's fair. TBH, I think that there's a lot of things that Demon Souls does really, really well that, uh, Dark Souls kind of abandoned. Okay, let's, uh, let's yearn. No! Oh, right, my souls are over there, too, and I want them because they're... Because there's humanity attached to them. Um... Okay. Well... Are you gonna... Go for that? Are the skeletons just not gonna go for anything? Can you, can you attack so I can... Oh my god! Well, there goes my humanity. Dark Souls is about darking or unsouling the dark. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Um, well, I kind of have to go to the bathroom. So... We are gonna... Oh, I don't have a, uh... I don't have a sitting down pose. Oh, well. We're just gonna rest in the bonfire. I'll be right back. Probably about a minute or two. Yes. Bed of Chaos, best fight. seconds and my cats decide that my chair is actually their chair yes well it is their chair i mean they're welcome to sit on it with me but they've got to sit on like my lap and also be calm enough because i'm going through the catacombs which i hate um Die. Die. Alright, I think I'm gonna put the binoculars on my quick bar so that I can more easily free aim with the the decoy. Wait, why do I have six Estus? 
Because that bonfire I just sat at isn't... Oh! Um... It's a thing that happens when, like, your message gets written. Did I even leave any messages? I should leave a message. Um... I'm sad about losing that six humanity, but I'm glad it happened when I was on the online mode instead of offline, because that means someone's gonna get a vagrant. Um... Which vagrants are so fucking cool. Um... If you don't know how vagrants work, I'm not the person to explain them. Instead, what you should... Oh, right. In this game, it's like a fucking... <sighs> okay. How do I do this? Um, if you want to know how vagrants work, Illusory Wall, who I recommended last stream, uh, did a really good uh, video explaining how vagrants work. Okay. Um... Is it characters? Skellington? Skellington ahead! Oh, does it happen when someone kindles the bonfire at? Maybe that's it. I actually don't know. Um. Yeah, it's possible that the message rating doesn't actually benefit you at all in this game. I know in Dark Souls 3 and... Elden Ring, because they are basically the same game. Um, somebody rating your message gives you a tiny bit of health, and I think in Dark Souls 3 it even replenishes your Estus Flask. Uh, but I might be wrong about that, so don't quote me on the Estus Flask thing. I do appreciate that you can hit the Skellingtons while they're disassembling and still deal damage. Like, it makes crushing weapons like this so much better against them, because the crushing weapons will disassemble them, and it's like stagger. I'm sorry if I made you feel lonely while I was pooping, but everybody poops. I see that Jacob is trying to spread the Church of Bed of Chaos. Yes. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if someone could be summoned for the fucking Bed of Chaos fight? I think I mentioned this before, but, like, the AI of, uh, phantoms oftentimes just, like, jumps off bottomless cliffs by accident. So, like, the Bed of Chaos fucking getting summoned for that would just be hilarious. Um, that said, Bed of Chaos, I do appreciate one thing about Bed of Chaos, and that is the speedrun strategy of just running to the middle and throwing three firebombs. Um, I'm never gonna not love that. Hello, Skellington. Yeah, so once I get one hit in, I basically kill them because I kind of just stagger them. I told you not to quote me! All right, uh, get this. Oh, uh, oh, he's, uh, hold on. Actually, want to... Well, so if he's gonna be there instead of running away, I can actually hit him with soul arrows. Come, come on, buddy. Actually, if he's there, can I kill him? Oh, wait, okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Um... Are we ready for, like, the ultimate cheese? No, 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 no. Fuck! Okay, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I hope that this works. Yes! He fell off and died! He fell off and died! Oh, he fell off and died! It was fucking worth it. It was fucking worth it. He fell off and died. I... The cheese is so much more... F Cheesing things is so fun. Like, I could have just slung soul arrows at him. But why not do that instead? You know who taught me that? My best friend Patches taught me that. Because Patches does that to you. No, I've never had sleep paralysis. It's, uh, it sounds scary, though. 
Like, just completely unable to move while being awake. Appropriately spooky. I understand why, like, sleep paralysis demon is a thing that people say. Because it's, like, very scary. Okay, come here, little skeleton. Especially if it happened when you were a child. I'm sorry that happens. I hope it's not, like, a frequent occurrence. Oh, I thought I killed you. There you go, now you're dead. I really, really, really hope that, um, that guy died before... Like, because it's a pretty steep pit. I really hope that his death, like, happened before the fade out because it'd be like just so good such a good cheese and it would suck if it was ruined by like the fact that I died and the game unloaded before he died of fall damage because it should still count if he died of fall damage before the game unloaded but I guess we'll, we'll just have to see. Do that. Come here. Ooh, hello. Uh, the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring is also useful because there are skeletons hiding in like some of these side rooms. And if they don't see me, and my footsteps aren't making a noise, then they are not going to get aggroed. Okay. Yeah, this guy just, like, he didn't even notice me. Because no footsteps. No footsteps? No footsteps? You're back! You missed- Oh, you missed the best moment! Oh, and he's dead too! He's really dead! You miss- I'm gonna have to- I'm recording this as well as, uh, streaming it, so I'm gonna have to make that into, like, its own video. Um, the way I killed one of the necromancers was by- I pulled the old patches. I turned the bridge while he was standing on it to kill him. No, it's not no soul level. I have a soul level. I just only have one. That's the other reason that uh, he crushing weapons are better against skeletons. Did you see how much that trap did to him? It was only 36 because it's piercing. And like skeletons get dealt almost no damage by piercing weapons. I'm so sorry, Griffiths. That sounds horrifying. Yeah, here's Patches. He's waiting to pull the same trick on me. By the lever. If I, like, walk across the wrong bridge, he's gonna turn it to kill me. Um. Which you can avoid by killing him, but why would you kill Patches? That's just... Just rude. Alright, let's... Oral decoy... No? Come on. There we go! Gravity. Gravity, my beloved. Okay. Um, so now comes the part where I make a confession. Um, I've never actually gotten to Famos. I don't know how to get to him. I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, okay. Hello. Are you... Were you linked to that other guy, or are you linked to a different guy? 
Okay, you were linked to the guy I killed already. Oh, no. No, you weren't. Okay, you're linked to a different guy. So I gotta holy damage you. But yeah, I think Vamos is like... Blacksmith Vamos, the skeleton blacksmith. I think he's at the... Oh, this is a trap. This is 100% a trap. Uh, I think he's at the bottom of, like, this tower. You gotta go down these stairs, and then there's, like, a drop-off. Oh, fuck. Uh... Yeah, that's, like, no damage. I switched over too early by accident. Because I thought it was the other guy. Who I need to hit once more with the club, and then once with the Morning Star. Uh, thematically appropriate that the Morning Star is my holy weapon, because the Morning Stars are, like, uh... Morning Stars are, like, the, uh, the priest weapon. Um... As far as scary things that I've experienced, uh, I mean, bugs scare me. I don't know if that's, like, counts, because it's, like, a specific thing that scares me as opposed to, like, a universally scary experience. Yeah, here's the, here's the fuck. There we go. Bleed damage on ya. I'm really hoping, um, so there's a 3% chance that the Necromancers drop a Skull Lantern, and that's the only way you can get Skull Lantern before going deep into the catacombs, and I'm really hoping one of these guys drops for me. Yeah, getting to Vamos, um, it's like a drop down. Oh, okay, this is another benefit to, uh, online mode, is, uh, I can see messages where there's, like, platforms, so it's like, there's a drop down. Oh, fuck! Careful, or don't, whatever. Well, I killed that necromancer, so now I can, like, stay with the club for the... for that section as well. Eat club! Club. Yeah, I, I think that's the drop that gets to him, because you got to go through that, like, hole. And actually, there is... I was looking it up. There is a way to cheese it the first time, because it triggers that cutscene. Um, and the cutscene prevents fall damage. But I'd rather just, like, figure out how to do it normally, because I am going to need to go back to him after I beat Quaylag anyway. Um, while I'm just fighting skeletons, can I complain about raw raw weapons in in uh, Dark Souls One? Because raw weapons in Dark Souls One like really get a bad deal. Um, so raw weapons are supposed to be the this is a physical weapon with no scaling or less scaling depending on the game and increased base damage. However, um. Lightning and fire exist, and they both have more physical damage than raw weapons do. Which is like, lightning and fire are the non-scaling ones that have elemental aspects, so you would think the idea is they deal less physical damage, but they have the fire or lightning on top of it. But no, they actually deal more physical damage than raw, which is like, already an insult. But what's worse is you can only upgrade raw to plus five. So you get plus five regular and then plus five raw. Normally, the things that go from plus five regular get up to plus ten. Raw can only go to plus five. A plus fifteen standard weapon, heck, a plus eleven standard weapon has more base damage than a plus five raw weapon. Like, even discounting the scaling. Uh, so, like, there's no reason to ever use a raw weapon. Uh, for, m like, multiple reasons. No matter what your build is, raw is never the way to go. Which is just, like, sad. Uh, like, Elden Ring doesn't have raw in it, but Dark Souls, um, 2 and 3 both have raw as options. And, like, they're potentially viable for Soul Level 1. 
um, because sometimes you don't want the elemental damage because of split defenses or somebody being like elementally resistant or something. Or physically weak. Like, uh, a lot of enemies in Dark Souls 2 are weak to crushing damage, which is the type of physical damage. And, uh, sometimes you might want a raw weapon for, like, a raw club or something to deal extra damage if you're, like, doing a soul level 1 Dark Souls 2. I also love Dark Souls 2. I don't hate it. Um... I think that there are some distinct design mistakes in Dark Souls 2, and Dark Souls 1 is my favorite of the Souls games, but I do think Dark Souls 2 is better than Dark Souls 3. Really? You don't jump off the- jump off the edge of the cliff, please. You're being rude by not killing yourself. Don't take this clip out of context. I highly recommend Dark Souls 2. Um... In my opinion, and, like, part of it is there's things I dislike about Dark Souls 3, but there's a lot of, like, Dark Souls 2 has really good, Dark Souls 2 is the only one where I'll do PvP, because it's got really good build variety. I actually like the PvP in Dark Souls 2. Granted, there's a huge fucking asterisk there in that soul memory makes PvP in Dark Souls 2, uh, shall we say frustrating? Um, soul memory was a mistake. Um... And there's no- I don't think there's any way to fix soul memory. It's just- it's just a mistake. Um, they've tried... With, uh, the Scholar. With Scholar of the First Sin, they added, like, a ring to try to fix it. Soul memory is basically, instead of your matchmaking being based on your level, it's based on how many souls you've collected. Even including souls that you've, like, spent or died with or whatever. Just the total number of souls you've collected. That's your soul memory, and that's what assigns matchmaking in Dark Souls 2. And, uh, no, give me, give me, give me the item. Give me the item. No item? No item? So the idea behind soul memory was in Dark Souls 1, in the Prepare to Die edition, not the remastered, matchmaking was just based on your level. So invaders would do, like, soul level 1 runs where they get, like, a plus 15 weapon and then invade in the undead bird because they're like level one but they have gear that's like such they have gear that's so strong that they're even if it weren't for a skill thing uh outmatching the new players so it just makes like being human in undead berg just like it makes it like hostile to new players um so the soul memory was their attempt at fixing that but, unfortunately, it came with the side effect of, like, if you were trying to co-op or invade or whatever, and you're successful, you get souls. Oh, no, no, no! Uh... Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, it is a dumb idea in retrospect, but I do appreciate their attempting to solve a problem. I think the way they did it in Dark Souls 3 and... Um, Bloodborne is much, and the remastered version of Dark Souls 1, is much more elegant, where matchmaking is based on a complicated formula that takes into account your level and also your gear's level. That does still have some problems, um, but I think that it is a more elegant solution, and I think the best solution is the one that they did in, um... Elden Ring and Bloodborne, where you can only be invaded if you like it's it started in bloodborne and they also did in elden ring but you can only be invaded if you're already co-oping or if you use an item in elden ring it's if you use an item to allow invaders in bloodborne a specific area areas with bell maidens uh allow invaders until the bell maiden dies which eh, i'm not a huge fan of that personally but i get it But I think that using the complicated formula makes more sense than just soul memory. It's unlucky and it's true that the Minnows is the most difficult. Uh, the, the Taurus Demon, do you mean? Like the Minotaur Demon, Taurus Demon? 
Woo! Crush you. Crush you. Die, die, die. So, if for the people keeping track at home, I've lost eight humanity this stream to the catacombs. Um, I don't think he's actually that difficult personally, even when you're the appropriate level for him. Uh, but it does, like, as a, as a first player, as, like, as a new player, if you're summoning and, like, you go human to summon to fight him, and then you get invaded, um, perhaps even invaded before you get the chance to summon, it's just, like, it can be very, very frustrating. And it was a way, and I guarantee you that at least some people were intentionally, like, reveling in, like, this person's probably never gonna play Dark Souls again after I schooled them like that. Ha 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 ha. Um, like for some people, it's just like making the game more exclusive is a good thing, and I just don't. It, it's the it's the easy mode debate. Um, but it feels like it's an easy mode debate, like brought up to another level of just being a dick to people by invade. Because at that point, also, if you're like got a plus 15 weapon and are low level and just invading to kill people like you're not doing it for pvp fun because like i'm sorry if you have to attack someone who's significantly lower level than you or not lower but like lower like their build is less complete than yours it's not an even match it's not quote unquote fun because of the dual aspect it's fun because i mean you're bullying someone basically Kind of like I bully these skeletons. I'm cyberbullying the skeletons. Hey, skeleton, please KYS. No, you're fine. Oh, actually, oh, you mean like you have to go to bed? Is it, uh, is it late at Belgium? I actually don't know time zones. Well, thanks for joining. Um, yeah. I'm glad you got to see some. Oh, I, I'm glad you got to see uh, some of the Skellington murder. Have a good night. Uh, the skulls just explode. Yes, the giant skulls explode. Uh, the flying red skulls. They explode. Um, and they can kill enemies if you, like, bait it properly. Come on. Oh, he's got parry stance up. Boop. Alright. Uh, so, Vamos... I go... Oh, there's another Skellington isn't there. Yeah. There's two of them, if I recall, actually. Because one just jumped down and died. Oh, and I saw the other one die, too. Is there anything in here? Uh, I already pulled this lever, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so. Uh, do I even have prism stones? I always forget to get prism stones. No, I don't. I think we go, whoop. Oh, fuck! Ow! Oh, it's that, that ledge outcropping on the top! Like, throws me off from my roll. I don't know how to get around that. You should attack him in that sa Jacob always trying to sabotage me. <sighs> oh, the skeleton bur I When I killed him, he did just kind of, like, scatter into bones. The ragdoll physics on the skeleton parts is kind of hilarious. Actually, I want to test something regarding these weapons. So that takes a quarter of my stamina per R1. Okay, so they are the same stamina cost to R1. So it is just like, the Reinforced Club is just better if I'm just R1-ing, which late game is probably going to be the play. Um, I do I do really, especially in the early game, appreciate the R2 on the Morningstar, though. Um... I've never used it in Dark Souls 1 before, but, like, I actually really liked that moveset. It was, uh... You know, 
of nothing too fancy, but uh, a simple but effective moveset is like always really appreciated. The skelly mans are quite silly. That's one of the, the real charming things that Dark Souls 1 does is like there's a lot of silly enemies. Ah, uh, like, everyone shits on Lost Isleth, and rightly so. Like, half of the enemies are just butts that are not finished. Uh, but I think one of the coolest goofy design enemies is, uh, those, like, little... I don't even know how to describe them. I think they're called Chaos Eaters. They're, like, octopusy things with, like, tons of eyes, and they grab you and put you inside of their, like, forehead mouth. Oh my god. Oh, fuck off, skeletons. I will, I'll say I love Jacob regardless. Jacob is one of my friends. I very much appreciate him as a co-host and a friend. I don't need to uh, fall off in order to express my gratitude. <laughs> When I say I hate him, it is in jest. And I hope everyone realizes that. I hope people don't think that I'm, like, holding him hostage in order to co-comment Fire Emblem. That evil laughter is me. Uh, the laughter that I make when I hold Jacob hostage. And then I make him jump off of cliffs like that. Okay, I'm just gonna run through at this point. Uh, cause they will eventually reach the end of their leash or they'll like accidentally fall off. And I've been doing this area for so long. Go through here. Uh, a lot of them will probably fall off on this area if that's not, like, the end of their leash. Woo! Not that guy, though. Okay, spiral staircase. They're gonna fall off at the spiral staircase. Oh no, that's not a lethal spiral! Oh fuck, what have I done? Oh fuck, what have I done? No, I'm trapped! I'm trapped! No! 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 I'm trapped! <laughs> that was incredible. <sighs> that was an incredibly bad decision. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, let's try doing this again. Okay, we'll just we'll just normal kill you. Can I get you to jump off the edge of the earth? No. Come on. Ah, uh, and die. And die. <laughs> yeah, I was on Mr. Bone's wild ride. The skeletons do give humanity drop, which is, uh... I mean, it would be nice if I didn't keep dying before I ever got my blood stain. But, uh... I guess that makes sense, because they are, like, human skeletons. The giant skeletons do not give humanity drop. Uh, because they're not humans. They're giants. So, that's kind of cool. Okay, die, die, die. I just want to talk to Vamos, okay?
Come on. Jump off the edge. Oh no, there's so many of them. No, no! Fuck! No. Bones are people too. No, I've never seen Berserk. I'm not actually like into anime. Um, I know that Berserk is like a huge inspiration for Dark Souls. Um, and so I probably will at some point, just because of how much I like Dark Souls, look into Berserk, although I'm not sure if I will finish it because I'm just not a huge anime fan, if I'm being perfectly honest. Even though I play Fire Emblem and I'm in a lot of anime Discord servers, specifically for the emotes, though. Like, yes! Oh, he pushed his friend off the cliff! The power of friendship. I did play Fates, and I did the face pitting minigame as well. And that's on stream. Or not on stream, it's on, uh, on YouTube, so everyone knows that. 200? No, there were four of them. No! Uh, go jump off the edge of the world. Fuck! Oh, god damn it. Fuck, okay. Uh, the roly poly skeletons! Like, even when they're not bone wheels, they're really rolly and, uh, annoying to fight because of that. Because they'll, like, stagger you with a roll. I mean, I'm sure it's good. It's just, um, like, anime, it's not that I doubt the quality of Berserk. It's just that, like, I'm not a huge fan of the genre. The only anime I've, uh... The only anime that I liked was, um, Death Note. And even then, like, n if I started Death Note today, I probably wouldn't finish it. Because the, the later parts of Death Note just, like, it gets real bad. It's, uh, it's kind of an unsatisfying ending. And not just, not just after, um, like, there's, there's, I don't want to spoil anything. There's a major character whose death is often regarded as the point when Death Note stopped being good. And I think Death Note stopped being good before that point. Before the major character death. Uh, and I'm not going to say more than that, because there's only a few characters. So, even just saying a ma major character death is kind of a spoiler. And it's good, and you should watch it. But I do think that... Um, I think that the point where Death Note stops being good is the start of the memory loss plot. Oh yeah, that's always a uh, tricky one to do right, and I rarely see it done right. And I think it's just, uh, it's because at its heart, the, at least to me, the thing that made Death Note good was it's like a de it's a battle between two incredibly smart people who are way smarter than everyone around them. And the show focuses on their relationship, uh, both as they're fighting each other and as they're trying to figure out each other's identities. Uh, like it's got a lot of, it's got like a secret identity-esque thing going on. Um, and also how, again, they're so much smarter than everyone around them. Uh, there are other characters than those two. Um, but yeah, uh, and the, the, the addition of other characters, some of them are not great, but some of them I do think add to the story as well. Um, But, like, the idea is, um, 
because they're so smart, they think through, like, every step of all of their plans. And so oftentimes you'll spend an entire episode going over seemingly mundane details that never come up. But just, like, things they've done to prepare for s possibilities. Um, like, you spend an entire episode figuring out how uh, Light Yagami, that's the main character, hides his journal from his family. And the, the several different steps that he takes to hide his journal because he knows that uh, if they found the journal they'd find out his secret identity. Um, and then that journal never comes up, or like the hiding place never comes up. Uh, and it's just, it, I think it's still good, like, that they focus on all those small details. So the thing that disappointed me is the memory loss plot, it feels nonsensical. Um, it feels like people, like, the two people who are supposed to both be geniuses just overlook so many things. Alright, I think instead of rolling, let's try sprinting? There we go! Okay. I think that's the hard part, because that's the one with that, like, outcropping here. Uh, oh, I'll rate, I'll rate this. How do I rate this mess? Is it star? I can't rate it. Maybe it's a developer message? Oh, green titanite. Here. Maybe it's a developer message, then? Um, because it has the skeleton next to it. Does that mean it was left by the developers? I don't know. Um, I think the next one down is that one there, though. So I guess I gotta, like, inch forward, right? Inch. We'll sip just in case. Sippy. Sippy, sippy. Inch forward, inch forward, inch forward. Go there. There we go. And now I can hear... Ah, I can't, yeah, I can't rate. I wonder why I can't rate. There we go. So, like, that's the... That right there is the cutscene trigger that I said you can cheese by, like, if you fall into the hole, the cutscene saves you from fall damage. So it's sprint, and then walk, and then walk is what it was. Also, heads up, this cutscene audio is terrible. They did not re-record the PlayStation 3 audio for the remastered version. Instead, they just used the same audio and, like, tried to upscale it, and, uh, that's the result. It did not it's, work. It's so bad. Uh, I've heard people justify it by saying... Oh, I am gonna rest here, though, because this is a good checkpoint. Um, I've heard people try to justify it by saying that, like, oh, and I can, um... Actually, instead of reinforcing my weapon there, I'm gonna see what... if I can... What I can do with Vamos. Oh god, this is so bad. This hurts my ears. Okay. Um, purchase item. So yeah, he sells regular Titanite as well. How many of it do I need? I have zero. So I need... It's nine to get to plus five. Um, if I want to get a fire weapon... Before Anna Orlando. Or not before Anna Orlando. Before, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit? I definitely want a fire weapon before Anna Orlando, but this is to get a fire weapon before, um... Blight Town. Well, I might as well purchase four from him. If that be all, then be gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. Oh god, that's horrible. That's really quite bad. Also, nice butt. <laughs> nice Vamos Why, thank butt. you. Let's just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh no, someone attacked Vamos? What's that then? Need some then produce no, I'm trying to look at the blood stain. Well, what was that about? Don't be coming around here without a good reason. My good reason is your butt. Butt. But yeah, this is someone decided they wanted to... I can't tell if they were fighting Vamos or skeletons followed them in here. And they were protecting him. Um, this is, I think, where the bone wheels... Yeah, this is where the bone wheels are. Fuckers! Yeah, so skeleton... That, the stagger that that person had, skeletons must have followed them in. 
ripperoni and pepperoni. It's very easy to accidentally work. Yeah, he sounds like a walkie-talkie. I've heard people say it's like because he has no lungs and it was on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. They definitely just like couldn't get the voice actor again or something. Um, I think we go with fireball. Fire orb. Orb. Uh, we are gonna change up our equipment though. Boop, 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 boop. This this fashion's been fun, but uh, it's time for sack again. Where are you? Actually, let's put it in the right hand. The pyromancy flame. There we go. Sack time! Um, status, I've got about 12, I've got about two, wait, to wiggle room, right? Because it's 12.5? Is it 12.5? Something like that? I don't remember. Um, we did the math last time. I should have written it down, but I didn't. Do you remember what 25% uh, of my equip load was? 12.75. 12.75, okay. Okay, so we're good at 12 then. Here's my outfit. Okay. Um, oh, you know, actually, I could use the fucking... The Whisper to lure the bones away. Alright, if this, if this doesn't work... Because I want fireballs for pinwheel. So if this time doesn't work, I will use the Whisper coming up. That's nine humanity that I've lost in the catacombs. Oh, dear. Sack Gaming. It does sound like a JPEG, doesn't it? Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of Fireball in favor of Decoy. And then... Equipment... Uh, where's the catalyst? I'm probably over because of that. Yeah, I'm over, but I'll be taking off the catalyst anyway. I just need to uh, not deal with bone wheels. Where's the... Here's the exit. Oh, it's nice. Um, I don't need to like do that big fall again, though, at the very least. No, go for the noise! Okay, uh, new plan. Not that. New plan is not that. I, I agree with Jacob and Morgan. That did not work. Okay, so we will go with Fireball, Fire Orb. Equipment. Boop. I hate the bone wheels. No, no, no! I saw what was happening. Uh, the stream has been going pretty well, but the bone wheels are a problem. Oh, right, I can't homeward back to Firelink anymore. Oh, fuck, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. I'm gonna have to like, cause normally, cause I've never, uh, I've never gotten famous before. Normally after pinwheel, what I do is I just homework, homeward back up to the catacombs bonfire that's near Firelink. Oh no, and I'm gonna have to like take pinwheel souls. Okay, so let's traverse the white light. Let them not be here, right? Yeah, they can't, okay. So, uh, change up my equipment. Um, I don't need slumbering for this. I think either RTSR or bellowing. I think bellowing is the way to go. Uh, equip. Yeah, 
right, we'll, we'll equip the this, this, and we'll start by trying to fire orb him. Pinwheel is one of the bosses that has that annoying thing where uh, you take fall damage entering the boss arena. Nito is the same way. Um, Nito, Pinwheel, there's someone else I'm trying to remember. But like, there's a couple, oh, a si Stray Demon. You take fall damage going into the arena. It's really annoying. Yeah, the bone wheels are horrible. And I am, as usual with the boss fights, just going to be focusing on um, the game and not chat until it's over. Even though Pinwheel's like kind of a joke boss, like... I don't want to have to do... I don't want to have to die to Pinwheel on stream. Oh fuck, uh, that's the wrong one. I say as Pinwheel deals more than half of my HP with a single attack. Oh wow, I dealt damage to him while he was teleporting away. Cringe Pinwheel. Oh, um... So now I got the Rite of Kindling, and Mask of the Child. Which one is that? It's not Dad, so it's not the good one. Um, raises- Oh, Raises stamina, recovery, speed? Oh. I actually like that. And the fashion. Uh, so now I've got 15,000 souls on the line, and I have to deal with- um. Bone wheels. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's kind of scary. He's like a little freaky necromancer dude. Um, stamina regen, Sonny told me before I looked at the thing. It's not a sack. I know, it's not a sack. You know what? Actually, I'm going to spend these souls on... Uh, I'm going to spend these souls with Thamos. I don't want to risk losing them. It'd be nice to use them to upgrade the Pyromancy Flame, because, like, it is loot from a boss. But, um, I do think it makes more sense to just, like, spend them while I have them and not risk losing them. So I need five of these, and that's the last shards I will ever need. Um, and then I, since I'm with him, I'll reinforce my, what is it, reinforce club... I should have a plus zero reinforced club here, shouldn't I? Did I not have a plus zero? I thought I bought two reinforced clubs. It appears I did not buy the second reinforced club. Um, well, that is very unfortunate. Um, okay, well, awkward, um, but that's okay. We can revert the Morningstar back to plus five, and then make it the fire, make it be my fire weapon. And then make this into a fire Morningstar. I swear, I thought I bought two reinforced clubs. I must have just, like, misclicked or something. Yeah, because I killed the guy who sells them. It's okay. Hey, this means the Morningstar gets to, like, still be a part of the playthrough. Because the next time I need a divine weapon, I'll be using a different divine weapon. Fire Morningstar plus two. Fire Morningstar plus three. All right. Um, yeah, let's let's just send the club back up to. Oh wait, no. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. 
Oh, I, I accidentally made the club a fire club. Fuck. Okay, I gotta undo fire club. It's not the end of the world, but like, God, that's annoying. Um. Oh, and then it's, I can't ascend it. I can't ascend it without going back to Andre. Oh, fuck, that's annoying. And that means I don't have enough large now as well. Yeah, menuing is hard. Um, the giant blacksmith sells larges, but still, that's annoying. Um, I can't believe I did that. Well, uh, let's equip the Fire Morning Star, I guess, because that's better. Um. Oh, that's like, that's an unfortunate waste of souls. Okay, now we go this way. No, 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 no. Fucking hell. I mean, Rinka does have fire on her clubs, but I need the- I want the reinforced club to be my lightning weapon. Okay. Grab this. Okay. Bone wheel. Woo! Dodge one. No! No, no, no! No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Sippy, sippy! No? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, and the necromancer. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Yeah, so that was, uh, it's a waste of three large shards, no, two large shards and a, um, and a green shard is basically what, uh, what that menuing cost me. Plus some souls, but, like, I'm about to lose all those souls anyway to the bone wheels. To the bone brigade! The bone brigade! Oh, hitting Vamos' bonfire is a fucking trap. Blacksmith Vamos, you are not my friend. <laughs> yeah, so I lost all the pinwheel souls now. Um... Which, uh, is very unfortunate, but, like, not unexpected. Fucking... Mm, I hate this so much. It's the Bone Brigade! Yeah, Andre's better than Bone Boy. Andre is, is the best blacksmith. angled himself to catch me. So rude. So rude. Alright. Uh, oh my god. We're gonna... Tune magic. We're gonna give ourselves aural decoy. Oh, we should probably actually get fireball instead of fire orb. I will try this again. They angle themselves to... to catch you at all angles. They most betrayed me. He's working with these bone wheels, isn't he? Oh, fuck! Oh, there's three! This is agony. This is agony. Uh, so the rest of the stream is gonna be this. <laughs> oh, it's sad because it's true. I thought I could lure, like, one. Yeah, here's one. Oh, nope, it's more than one.
Okay. So that's three down. There should be more. Yeah, I see one there. Come here, sucker. Thank God they don't revive. Like, if there was a Necromancer links to the Bone Wheels... That would be the worst. Fuck! Vamos's bonfire was a ploy to make you need to re Oh no! Oh no, I just remembered fucking gear durability exists. <laughs> uh, oh no. What are wheels but just a full body pair of boots? It's uh it's soul arrow time as well. Which means we're just going to do this so that Wait, what? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, it's there I meant to go. Yeah, so I could do this. Okay. Menuing is hard. Um, It's two down. Oh, I'm gonna have to go backwards up the catacombs with no Estus as well, and at least one Necromancer. I think two are still alive. Wait, am I even able to go backwards up the catacombs? Because the bridge... The bridge is, like, the wrong way? Because I didn't fix Patches' bridge. And you can't cross it. As is. I guess we'll find out if I ever get out of here. I don't think you can soft lock yourself in so in souls. I think you need some use of the la smart use of the ladders. Okay, I don't. I, I'm pretty sure you cannot soft lock yourself in Dark Souls One, um, but it is gonna be like annoying. Are there any more? Okay, there's a bunch more over near where Pinwheel is, but I can avoid. I can avoid baiting them. Okay, skeletons come here. Oh, they're archers, so I can't lure them over. Because they're just gonna fire arrows. Yeah, I definitely made it harder on myself. Because I didn't realize. Oh, he combustioned me. How dare he? Morningstar, my beloved. I'm sorry I ever betrayed you. Okay. Um, there's also a Black Knight that I... I want to kill, but I don't want to challenge because that requires, like, if I die to him, bone wheeling again. So, I will just not challenge him until I'm out of... Plus, I have fire weapons, and he has fire resistance. So, like, not a great idea. Oh! Hello, Skellingtons. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was close. Okay. Okay. They're coming down. Yeah. 
Okay. Hey, frog. I got a cat at my feet. Oh, I have two cats at Ew. my feet. The night is already cr the night is already crispy. I can't burn him. I have to fall through some areas. Oh no! Platforming in Dark Souls. A fate worse than death. I already don't know where to go from here. Do I got to go down there? That's okay. Welcome back. How is your popcorn? Do I go through there or do I break this wall? Don't break that wall. Okay, so I guess down is the only way forward. Oh shit, that's where the Black Knight is! Oh dear. No, fuck. <laughs> Hello, Vamos, my beloved. <laughs> Goodbye, Vamos, my beloved. Yeah, uh, he, he's, he's a lot less funny than from the Monty Python. Oh, uh, he Luna critted me. He double, he, like, triple overkilled me. It was kind of, it's, the reason I don't have Nihil is there's no Nihil in Fates. God damn it! Like, these initial three are the problem, because there's only one more afterwards, and I got him with soul arrows. But, uh... Yeah, it's full eclipse. It's a lunar and solar eclipse. Uh... Like, it's these three that all show up at the same time. And what happens is the first one gets baited, and he triggers the other ones by running over them. No, 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 fuck! Oh, I hate this so much. Which house in Path of Radiance are you referring to? Because there's a couple of Path of Radiance houses that are just like, I'm never going to rescue them. Okay. Fuck off. No, 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 no. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay. And now... Okay, you can kill me. That's fine. God fucking damn it. Okay. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got soul arrow. We go... Hit him. Hit him. Oh, yeah, in uh, Blood Runs Red. Um, well, it, it's it's not... Once you know once you know the mechanics of the map, it's cheesable because he only shows up when you fight the boss. But it's, uh, the first time it's certainly a jump scare. Okay, you there. Hello. Oop, 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 oop. Come on. Come on, you fucker. Okay, that's only two of them, though, so there is still another one out there. Nope, no timer. That is a, uh, that's a misconception that was started by Blazing Knight, believe it or not. Um, it's... You could wait as long as you want. The timer affects, uh, Jill... Um, but there's no specific turn that Black Knight shows up on. It's just if you engage the boss. Okay, okay. And now, we soul arrow you. No, he trucked the other ones with his noise. Oh.
we procced the other ones. Because I could avoid them. But because the bone wheels are so noisy. Okay. So I think what's happening is the first one to get baited is going over this way. Yeah, it's that one right there. And then he's baiting the other ones by being noisy. Being a noisy bitch. Eat fire. So... What I can do... Okay, I think I just accidentally baited... Yeah, I baited two of them. No! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not summoning a player. I, um... Uh, I'm not summoning players for this run. Uh, I also don't think you can summon in this area because I already killed Pinwheel. So even if I wanted to, I can't summon players. Oh no, oh no. This is pure torture. This is pure torture. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely bringing Solaire along for uh, some fights. All right, fuck it. We're just doing this. We're doing this time. No. I almost made it. All right, instead of bellowing, I'm going to put slumbering on. and see if I can sneak through. Very sneaky, very sneaky. Oh, I already got spotted. Oh no, I, I, oh, Woo! Oh no. Oh no, uh, Aha! You can't climb ladders, can you, bone wheel skeletons? Please tell me they can't climb ladders. Hope not. Because, like, they are technically not just the wheel. He doesn't look like he wants to stop doing that, though. Alright, bellowing time. So, uh, lesson learned. Do not go down that big scary hole with the Black Knight. Okay, maybe it's this one, but I think this is also the Black Knight, because it looks like it's the same room. Yeah, the Black Knight's down there. Okay, so... Where do I go, then? Oh, someone's coming up here. Please don't be a bone wheel. Please be just, like, a regular skeleton. I think there's a passageway behind- Oh, no. I have to go down there? Yeah, just roll up the ladder like the rats. Okay. Well, if I have to go down there, I have to go down there. Um...
That just leads it back out to the bone wheels, though. Oh, there's no Black Knight, either. Wait, where'd the Black Knight go? Because this is where he was last time. Yeah, this just leads out to the bone wheels again. How do I get back? They love rolling. No, okay. I do have to go back again. Oh no! Oh no! All of them are here! Oh! It's a party! <laughs> everyone... Everyone was in that fucking hallway. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, hold on. I have to look it up. I have to, I have to look up how you get... Ow. To leave catacombs, dark souls. How to leave the catacombs? It's just a circle. <laughs> okay, this is telling me how to get to them. Run past the bone wheel skeletons. Um, go through the hole in the wall after running past the floating skulls, then turn right and go up the ladder. Go through the second hole and then I'll turn right and then check the wall. There was another ladder there the whole time that I didn't see? I feel like that's not right. I guess we'll we'll figure that out after we die to the bone wheels 17 times. No. I'm panic rolling, but I don't care. I know I'm panic rolling. It is it is a it is a circle and circles are wheels. Oh, this is this is not good. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck. I thought things were going so well. I killed Pinwheel. I was like, yeah, now I can go to Blight Town. <laughs> there is no Blight Town. There is only the catacombs. <laughs> I seriously hope it's not a soft lock. Like, there's no way. It's an actual true soft lock, right? There's, there's got to be a way up from the catacombs. They wouldn't do that. Miyazaki wouldn't do that to me. Like this is, this is, uh, this is just like the Great Hollow, where if you take the bonfire, you're fucked. But it's not a soft lock. You can technically make your way out. I would, I would love to, I would love to be in Blight Town right now. Bones are temporary. <laughs> Poison is forever. I, I would rather be in Blight Town than this because Blight Town represents some semblance of progress. Oh, I knew the third one was gonna fuck me. I knew the third one was gonna fuck me. I'm going to become the bone skeleton. 
You are the bone skeleton. I mean, I could get Kirk's armor and just roll into people. Okay, here he comes. Oh, well, the decoy sent him running away because he tried to roll into it. <sighs> and he rolled too far. Oh, uh... <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Bless you. Interesting. So the R2 one-shots them. <sighs> oh, I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> Ooh. Bless you. Thank you, baby. Um, there's one. Alright, well, what I can do is I can RL decoy this one. No! Oh no, he's gonna lure all the other ones over. I gotta get out of here. Okay, go up the ladder. And then let's look at these online instructions I found. Um, it says to go through the hole in the wall. And then look to the right. There's been a ladder here this whole time? I'm the biggest idiot in the world. Okay. Where's the, uh... Where's my safe space coffin? This one. Yeah, the lighting is real bad. The real Dark Souls were the bones we wheeled along the way. Jesus Christ. Ah... Oh. <laughs> uh. I have a very small, but fantastic group of I just realized there's a Titanite demon in this room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, does this coffin not activate until you get the Lord Vessel, or is it just like the bird where it just takes forever? Because I, I wanted to get the no Gravelord idea. Sword, because the Gravelord Sword miracle... The Gravelord Miracle, like, doesn't actually require any faith, so it's something I could actually use, potentially. Um, I'm terrified that when I leave the coffin, this guy's immediately gonna aggro. I guess we'll find out. No, he's just chillin'. He's just chillin'. Um, speaking of, let's put Slumbering back on. It's weird, like, the Ring of Favor and Protection is really good, but it does make you feel like you only have one ring slot because you can't take it off. That was such a cozy spot to nap. You know what? I should have eaten in real life while I was napping there. No one would know. I mean, I would know. Okay, so... Yeah, this is the spot they usually, like, roll down, like, the little shortcut. Oh, God. This courtyard of skeletons. I do not care for it. Oh, you know what I can do, though? I can try to get them to, uh, kill themselves. I think the necromancer who corresponds to these people is dead, though, because I think it's the one who was, like, down really far low. Oh, there's only... I remember there being a lot more. Maybe it's because I'm getting chased by all the ones up higher. Wikidot says you need an Eye of Death to get the cutscene? Oh, is that the thing from the Gravelord Covenant? Okay. Um, I will be honest. I don't trust any of the Dark Souls wikis completely. It's like Fire Emblem where, like, the Pitfalls wikis exist and it's the worst one and that's Fextra Life. But then, um... The other wikis are not perfect either. This is like the most high pressure ever because if I die, I have to go back to the bone wheels.
Like, this is this is basically a permadeath run, because if I go back to the bone wheels, I'm gonna cry for the rest of the stream. I'll just spend the whole time crying. No more Dark Souls, only cry. Only cry. Dark Souls Prepare to Cry edition. The silly bone men want to keep me down here forever. Oh no. I didn't get souls from that guy. There's a necromancer still alive. And I got rid of my holy weapon, so I can't permanently kill these skeletons from that necromancer. And I do not want to explore and find him. I think he's behind that door, but like, I remember there being traps and stuff back there, and I just like, I don't want to fuck around and find out. Oh no, how do I get across here now? I. Because I can't pull the bridge lever. There's gotta be... I guess it's go through here time. Oh, fuck. Drinky, drinky. The, I think the necromancer's in, like, this area. And then I think this brings me up past that bridge as well. I think this is the... Because I'm going up. Alright, so then there's spiky... Yeah, there's the necromancer. Bleed! Attack that area. For half a second, I thought he was going to parry my backstab. Because he was in parry stance when I backstabbed him. And I was going to be, uh, very perturbed. Okay, so yeah, this got me past that bridge. I think. Or, no, it didn't. It just brought me back to the same area I was in. Well, at least I can kill those skeletons now. So, like, it's technically kind of progress. Um, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a way up, though. Don't tell me I accidentally softlocked myself. Oh. Uh, let's not go back to Wheel Town. Wheel Town, USA. No? Does this, is this the way up? Dodging the archers. Nope, I'm back here again. Well, damn. Oh, there was a different ladder. There's two ladders, so let's try this ladder. Ooh! Come on, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. We're back in Wheel Town, USA. Motherfucker. Hello, Vamos. <laughs> Hello, Vamos. Oh. I'm back. I'm back, Vamos. Oh! Woo! Woo! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. Woo! First try. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, no. Not the Black Knight. <laughs> like, like, I have to laugh. Because otherwise, I will legitimately break down crying. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay. Hey, we did it without getting hit. 
And uh, I think one of them got killed by the exploding skull. Or two of them did, because they're each worth 400 souls. Oh no! Fuck! I'm so fucking bad at this. Uh, flawlessly dodges all the wheel skeletons and then immediately accidentally walks off of the ladder. Okay, so. Uh, let's kill these guys. Uh... I really hope that Patches' bridge isn't a soft lock. Like, it can't be. Because you can get down- you can get down without having activated all the bridges. Like, I didn't use any glitches or exploits. I even explicitly avoided the Vamos glitch. On purpose. Because I wanted to practice for when I couldn't do it. No, 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 stop it. There's a reason I called this coffin my safe space. The skeletons can't get me in here. <laughs> I see him. He thinks he's so clever. Not so clever now. Uh, I... I'm fine with coming back because then I'll have teleportation. It's running backwards that's uh, that's the problem. I can teleport down to Vamos's bonfire, which is part of why I activated it. Plus, by then I'll have a better holy weapon. Well, I mean, I don't have any holy weapons anymore, but I'll be far better equipped. Um, so I'm fine with it coming back. The monster? Oh, the Titanite Demon? Is that where the exit is? I really hope not. I'm gonna try that other ladder first, and then, like, I guess maybe there's something behind the Titanite Demon, and I'll try. But I think it's a dead end there. Because it's a different building. Wait, Rinka has holy blood? What? Oh! Because I said the holy weapon. Can you jump off the edge? No? Okay. It's okay. I'll set your bones on fire. Okay. Like... Patches plus. Just pull the lever. I'm your boy, Patches. Or your girl. I'm your friend. Patches, Patches, I should be your friend. Okay, I think this is the bullshit place that I was trying to go earlier with, like, the archers and stuff. It's no other... Nothing. No other nothing. Can I, uh, can I, like, do this? No! Oh! Huh? Huh? Did I get up there? What if I do this? Still no. <sighs> yeah, getting higher up here, I don't think would let me... Okay, well, 
I can try... I can try the, uh... Well, Aural DK. Oh. Okay, let's get rid of one Skellington Archer, at least. And then Plunging Attack. Oh, miss. Okay. That's fine. Okay. I'm going through here, because I can, like... Oh, shit, a giant! Sippy sippy and then okay, uh, this ladder I think is the one I haven't gone up yet because I went up the other one and it just looped me around uh, Please 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 be the exit Well at least it's something new because it's I don't know the Skeleton is and then they're coming up the ladder after me I think yeah, so I can like slowly eliminate them, but I don't think this is the exit to be a way up, right? I I don't think they would left me soft lock. I really hope that there's a way out. Gotta be, right? I mean, I would hope so. Because, like, I didn't sequence break at all. Like, I didn't use any exploits. I would hope that this would be a situation that the developers accounted for, but I'm not seeing any path other than the ones I've taken. Oh, there's another ladder. I'm bad at spotting those, apparently. I'm also out of Estus now. Uh, okay, so... Oh, right. I've actually been through here before. All of these statues are traps. Like... I feel like that's unavoidable damage there, because both of those are traps. Yeah. Tranquil Walk of Peace does nothing for me because I have no faith. Oh, fuck! Oh! I mean, I made it, though. Um, I do have to go to the bathroom, but now we, we know where... We, we've made progress in that we know where we're supposed to go. Um, I also neglected the chat because I was just, like, super focus mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Bones... Yeah, 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 the, uh, the FE4. I, I see, I see where the confusion was when I said holy weapon. I meant, like, Dark Souls holy weapon, not Rinka holy weapon. Um, I do have to go to the bathroom again, and then... I'll leave you with Vamos. Here. I'll leave you with the beautiful voice acting of Vamos. What's that then? I need some sleeping. Then you can me some way.
ding, 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 ding. What was that about? Don't be coming around here without a good reason. Oh, trust me, I don't want to come around here without a good reason. Oh, dear. Okay. I think that, like... The zigzagging sprinting that I did is probably the most reliable. I say most reliable because it's not, see, like, that happens. It's not reliable, but it's, like, the best option I have. Woo! Woo! Because engaging with them just is not worth, uh, like, not worth my time, basically. Okay. And then there's two skeletons up here. I can bait them into fighting that black knight. Climb up? That's okay. That, I'll deal with them at the top of the ladder because, uh, like, then they'll just be single file ready for me to crush. Oh, bone wheels dying to the exploding skulls. You'll love to see it. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Physics. Hashtag physics. Physics. Okay, and then I think it's this way, right? Because the Titanite Demon's the other way. And then I want to decoy people into killing themselves. Didn't work. I do like the little, like, the laughter from the, the decoy, though. The <laughs> it's, uh, it's delightfully creepy. Okay, and then next up is uh so there's this guy here and then there's one inside oh okay that's fine um do this there we go okay Right, and then we, we gotta go through the crack in the wall. No, we can go here. Dodge! No, 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 let me through! Oh my god! The little guy, the little guy blocked me from getting through the little gate. <sighs> Still, it feels like we're making progress just from like knowing what to do. And then, you know, the bone wheels show up. <laughs> the bone wheels show up to teach me a lesson in overconfidence. <laughs> the bone wheels show up to tell me that this is Dark Souls, you're not allowed to have any fun. Hello, you missed, uh... <laughs> you missed that. You missed that happening over and over again. <laughs> and you missed quite a lot of death. <laughs> ah, the bone wheels. How's your popcorn? Okay, we go zoom, 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 zoom. Whoop, 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 whoop. I gotta make funny noises. It's a requirement. We're learning that bone wheels weren't play tested. Uh, there's no excuse for them because there's a similar enemy in Demon Souls, and it was equally frustrating. I don't think it's a matter of not play testing. I think it's a matter of Miyazaki not caring.
This is the bone content you subscribe for. I believe this is what the youngins call Mr. Bones while... Wait, 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 no. The pun is that I'm boned. <laughs> we already made the Mr. Bones Wild Ride joke earlier. Like, this time I'm just boned. They were optimized, optimized for maximum bone. Yeah, no, the way they give you maximum bone is that once you see them, you never get to leave the catacombs again. Howdy, everyone. Have some laughter. No! Not that laugh. That... The laughter was supposed to be the decoy, not the fact that you laugh at me from dying. Wait, what's the bone game? <laughs> oh, do we need to play the bone game? What's the bone game? It sounds must like a play the bone game. The bone game sounds like the sort of thing you play at, at summer camp. You like must a, play the bone game. Like the stick game? Did you all ever play the stick game? Cannot say that I have. All the games you play at summer camp are just like tricks. They're not games, they're tricks. They trick you into thinking that it's a game. No, no, no. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 Welcome to, uh, Sound Effect Souls, where, instead of commentary, I make wacky sounds. The eternal suffering by the wheels of bones. Ooh, 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 I got a zigzag. Oh. Didn't work. I thought I thought he was gonna zag, but instead he zigged. Now I'm just mad at that one little guy blocking me because I'd be out if it weren't for him. Okay. Okay. We're gonna make it. We're finally gonna make it to Blight Town. I have a good feeling about this time. <laughs> We're finally leaving the catacombs. I've got a good feeling, I swear. So then we go through here, and we deal with this- this area again. I mean, the Blight- Blight Town I feel like it's overly hated. The catacombs are far worse than Blight Town. Fast forward an hour. I feel like the catacombs get too hated. Blight Town is far worse than the catacombs. Just wherever I am is the worst area. But no, I do think that, uh, like, people hate on Blight Town because it sounds bad. Um. You know, like, you hear, oh, you get poisoned through the swamp and you get slowed down unless you have a specific ring. Um. 
and like you can die from falling down and stuff. Like it sounds bad. But I would argue that, uh, it's much more that it sound- I'm gonna get flashbacks at the sight of bones ten years from now. Probably. Probably. Right? Oh my god! I just got fucking sniped in the head. Plunging attack him. Sippy sippy. Alright, send them over there. And then I run through, like so. Weed shield up. And dodge. And woo! Got him. I don't think he can make it through here. But even if he can, I'm, I'm not sticking around to find out. Um, okay, so then... Next up, there's another ladder, right? Yeah, this ladder. And this brings me to where I got the Tranquil Walk. And then I drop down, and that brings me actually, like, pretty close to the beginning of the catacombs. So I just need to... Oh, right, and then there's this bullshit. Oh, I made it through this time. Okay, so... Hey! I can... Oh, there's someone coming up after me. Someone destroying pots. <gasps> uh, there's no bone place gameplay, but you do get, um, Maneater Mildred. My beloved. Okay, so this down here is, like, actually pretty close to the beginning. This is, like, the first... This is where the first Necromancer was. And we're almost there. No! There we go. There we go. And sippy sippy? No sippy. Sippy sippy? Sippy sippy. I'm not even going to go for that other bonfire because it's not going to be lit. I'm just leaving. I'm just going to fire link. Because, like, I'd have to kill the skeletons to get to that other... Wait, where do I... Where do I go? Where do I go? Where... Oh, it's the ladder. It's always the ladders. I find it ironic that the necromancers don't come back. Well, so their job is to revive other people, not themselves. They're, uh, they're, not, they're not Jesus. They're necromancers. There's a difference. Jesus is the is the Dark Souls enemy that actually revives himself. Once again, we are uh, a good blasphemous channel here. We don't engage in any of this uh, Jesus talk. Jesus is the bones. Yes. Yes. And that's why he keeps attacking me. He hates me for all my blasphemy. Alright, I'm pretty sure the bones are not following me, but in case they are, um... Laurentius, you can deal with them, okay? Uh, I do want to go talk to Andre, though. Because I need to, uh... I need to undo this club mistake I made. Finally, boneless souls. Um, it's not Boneless Souls yet, because I just realized I haven't rested at a bonfire yet, so if I die to, like, a random undead guy in the parish, I'm fucked. But I think I'm fine. There's only three enemies here. They're not gonna fuck me. Yeah, and they haven't even noticed me because I'm, uh, wearing the slumbering ring. At least I think I'm wearing the slumbering ring. Yeah, I don't know how that guy noticed me then. Weird. Oh, the sweet sound of the tweeting birds. I mean, attack drones. Oh, the attack drones. Oh my god, thank god this is the sound of Andre's hammer and not Blacksmith Vamos. 
<laughs> Andre, help! Your evil twin brother trapped me in the bone zone. <laughs> well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing all right. I'm traumatized as fuck. Uh, modify equipment. Reinforce club to reinforce six. There we go. Okay, reinforce weapon. I can send club to... Yeah, I can send club all the way up. And then I just need... I'm down two shards for the club. Two large shards. But, uh... There we go. There we go. We're back. We're safe. Birds allegedly have horrible bones, which can't be a good thing considering what just happened. The bones! They follow me! That said, um, there is a good spot for farming large titanite shards in Blight Town. So, I'm probably gonna, you know, continue, like, do the farm there instead, since, like, it'll mean progress. I do want to, however, see if, because now I've got a fire weapon, and it ha it's a fire weapon with bleed on it. Yes, Andre, my beloved. Also, welcome back, Jacob. Um, it's a fire weapon with bleed. I think I'm going to try to take on the stray demon. Because, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to take on the stray demon. I also almost certainly need to repair some of my armor from the beating I took. The bone beating. The bone beating. Repair equipment. Mask of the child. All of these leather armor. Heavy boots. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and yeah. And then reinforce weapon. I don't think I have... Yeah. I can probably reinforce the wheat shield, though, right? Uh, no. You can't reinforce wheat shield. Interesting. Huh. Oh, no. It's here. Yeah, I just scrolled past it. Um, I mean, I bought all those titanite shards that I'm not going to use now. I might as well upgrade the weed shield. I don't think it actually, like, does it affect the guard? It affects stability. Okay, so that's worthwhile. Um, yeah, let's, le let's level up the weed shield. Give it some more stability. Because this is only, this is going to be, like, the only shield I use. Um, the crest shield is a pretty good one as well. Uh, but I think... Because it's got, like, good fire and magic resistance. But I think the weed shield is a better investment. Because it's, like, it's my bread and butter. So, yeah. That gave me a use for those souls. Because if I die to the stray demon, I'm not getting them back. Because of the way the stray demon's arena works. Oh, okay. So, they, uh, they left already. Uh, oh. You again? Me? Uh. I've become separated from my lady. My lady. I've scoured near and far. My lady. Where could she have gone? Reinforce the gargoyle shields. Do you think I swore to protect you with my life? Uh, Petrus, actually, that's a lie. Petrus is, uh, Petrus's plan is to kill her, not to protect her. He was actually sent by the, much like, uh, Griggs of Vrindheim. He was sent by the church to kill the priestess lady. Um, I don't actually remember if all of her guards are supposed to do that, or just her, or just him. But definitely, um, definitely him. There we go. Hey, it's a light roll. I've missed you, light roll. 
I don't know why I didn't take off the sorcerer's staff. I wasn't really using it. And that would have brought me to light roll. Oh, I do know why, because I'm an idiot. Woo! Okay. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna see how the stray demon fight goes with this morning star. Um, because now I've got stamina regen from both the mask of the child and the weed shield. I actually I wonder if they stack. If they don't stack, then the mask of the child's probably the worst option I could have gotten because like the weed shield is just it's a good shield. Um. Oh, get ready for my close-up. Feet. <laughs> Burb. Yes, indeed, Dretheon. Bird. Bird feet. not wanting to deal with them. Oh, you're the derpy avi- Oh, you're say Okay. I did not recognize your username. Woo! Hello there, bucko. Well, uh, as an answer to how Stray Demon went, I would say not great. Uh, I probably should have gotten the bonfire near him, TVH. So I didn't have to do feet again. SMH, using a different username in Discord than you do on YouTube? How dare. I don't know anyone who does that. Definitely not me. They do stack. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for the Google, Morgan. Okay, okay, okay. Let's... Woo! In that case, let's, uh, let's change the Pyromancy Flame to be equipped in my right hand. So I can always keep the weed shield on. Kaka, kaka. Ah. To think after I spent all that time grinding, a menuing mistake fucked it up, and now I don't have enough large shards. Yes, that is seriously the developer intended path. Uh, it's an optional area. Well, it's mostly optional. It's it's an optional area that gives you a really important ring. It's how you get the the rusted iron ring, which is uh kind of a necessary, um... It's not necessary, but it's, like, extremely helpful for Blight Town. So, it's, like... At the very least, like, I don't think it's good design, but at the very least, they didn't put, like... Like, that's not the intended path for something that's mandatory. It's just the intended path for something that, like... I want to be the guy who figured it out, though. I want to know who the guy is that figured it out. I just want to figure out what was going through their head. Be wary of strange creature... No, uh, it's the ring that stops the swamp from slowing you down. The rusted iron ring. Um, I actually don't think the health regen stuff is especially good in Blight Town, because it doesn't regen faster than poison. So it's kind of like, what's the point? Wait, oh, is that bonfire kindle? Oh no, I just haven't drank Estes because I got the 10 from, uh, I got 10 from the other one. I just want to know what was going on with that person in that person's head. All right, so this is another fight that like obnoxiously the entrance actually like requires you to take fall damage. Come on.
Oh, uh, so I get one shot. Okay, that's good to know. Excellent. Um, I mean, unironically, though, actually good to know. Oh, I didn't know I got this ring. This could actually be useful. Um, I think RTSR is the way to go, though, because, like, if I get one shot anyway... Okay. I think that ought to be good to get... Like, since you have to take... Fall, you have mandatory fall damage. I think that the mandatory fall damage will knock me into RTSR range. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, two hits from the hollows. Yeah, I do think RTSR is the way to go. Um, just like... Let's, uh, let's change out combustion, though. Because that didn't do that much damage, actually. Um, and instead... Do we have Fire Orb? Yeah, we have Fire Orb. We'll do Fire Orb. Alright, so get hit twice by the Hollow. Once... Twice. There we go. Kill him. Kill him. We want to not have them fall into the arena later. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. That's that's very embarrassing. Um, I guess the hollow is dealing a different amount of damage. Because different attack. That's, uh... It's gonna be... There we go, okay. Well, I think that's too much now. Okay, we gotta... No, hit me once, hit me once. Hopefully that'll set up our TSR. Nope, I'm just above it. Yeah, I, I think it did more damage, too. Um, so it's looking like I might not be actually prepared to fight the Stray Demon yet. And that's okay. Oh, I you know what? I think it did more damage again. I think I need this one to hit me a couple times. Hey, buddy. That's good, that's good. Eat him. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Oh, barely survives. focus mode right now, so I won't be able to check chat. Oh, and dead. Yeah, the, um, so I can't wield assassin. I can't wield the knives because I don't have enough dexterity. I could wield jagged ghost blade, but I would have to farm for it, which is a 1% drop chance, and I really don't feel like doing that on stream. Uh, cause I've done- I've done- There's been a lot of, like, dead stream points. Uh, escaping the catacombs, and then I did farming for Titanite, and I did farming for souls to get the lingering ring as well. So, like, potentially I could farm it off stream and just, like, record the farming. 
But that's also like I wanted I want the whole experience to be streamed TBH. But yeah, the knives that are easy to get, unfortunately, uh I can't wield because I don't have enough dexterity. So, if I want a bleed weapon, it's the Morning Star or the Reinforced Club. Ooh, fuck. Yeah, my, um... The Pyromancer's starting dexterity is pretty bad. It is 9. And the various knives have like 10, 11, 12 as their requirement. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time and then if that, uh... Oh, fuck you. Hitting me below where I want to be. I'm gonna try one more time, and if that doesn't work... Okay, hit me again. Hit me again, buddy. There we go. There we go. Perfect. If this attempt doesn't work, I am gonna give up and come back later when I have a better pyromancy flame. And, uh... Okay, that doesn't count because I died to the fall damage. That's embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time where I don't die to fall damage, and if I can't get the kill, then I will, um... Come back with a stronger, like, stronger weapon. I do think I need to be unlocked for this fight. Because of his giant thigh gap. Oh fuck. Alright, well. I'm gonna move on to Blight Town then. I do need to kill the stray demon because it's the easiest way to get a slab. But uh, I don't need to kill him yet because I don't need a slab until I go to Ann Orlando. So I can wait until after. Uh, Light Town. I do definitely want to get a slab for ONS, though. I got sat on, indeed. His big, giant butt. Okay, we've seen this cutscene enough times. Oh, it's two cutscenes I have to skip. Okay, interesting. Let's, uh, drink up. Hello, boys. Oh, right, um... Well, now that your friends aren't here... By the lords, you damn fool. Enough of you. Feel the wrath of the gods. Fuck you, Petrus. Oh. Little bitch boy. I do not like Petrus. He's a little... He's a little twerp. He's a little... Little butthead. He, um, he murders the lady who he's supposed to bodyguard under orders of the church. Like, that's totally, that's beta behavior. And we only, we don't respect betas here. We only respect alphas. Alpha Rinka versus Beta Petrus. He is very cringe. He doesn't even wear sacks on his head. He doesn't wear sacks, he doesn't wear child masks. Sigma Dick! Got him! But yeah, this is where I would grind for the 1% drop of the Jagged Ghost Blade. Um, you have to kill ghosts to get it. It's doable. 
but it's also like so like it's doable but it's a tedious process also um let's equip the reinforced club it's doable but it's a tedious process because um uh like it's doable because the transient curse lasts five minutes but it's a tedious process because it's a one percent drop um, the ghosts can only be damaged if you're using a transient curse, but they drop transient curse at a high enough rate that, like, if you're grinding on them the full five minutes, you'll get more. Uh, it's just a matter of, like, I don't want to grind for the jagged ghost blade. Oh. Instead of RTSR, slumbering. Get a backstab. Hell yeah. Eat it. Oh, right. Fireball. 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 Fireball! There we go. Fireball! Ooh, he dropped something. He probably dropped a club. Backstab! Oh no, he dropped poop. He dropped the poops. Sip sippy. Um, so normally you would immediately go down. I am going to take a detour for power within. Uh, which is like behind, uh... Oh. Hello? We're gonna... Backstab! Oh, fuck. Oh, I got stuck behind the wood! I got stuck behind the wood! Alright, I bet. Did you kill him yet? No, I got stuck behind the wood. Oh no. And then the fat guy hit me with his club. Oh dear. It was very rude. Terribly rude. But, uh, we discussed... We I did kill one person, though. Yay! I killed Petrus. Oh dear. Look, Petrus is a dick. Well, yeah. Try hold. Oh my god, just let me pull the lever. Whoever left that message is my least favorite person. Because that message comes up in all of my playthroughs, and it's like, just let me just let me pull the lever. No. Alright, I'm gonna equip the Morning Star. Because I, I'm already bothered by the jumping attack R2 of the Reinforced Club. In fighting these day-to-day -day enemies. I mean, I can try... See, I'm two-handing now. I'm two-handing now. No, the lever, the lever message is just like... It's a troll. And it's not even like, like, some people will leave those, I guess I should be thankful, some people leave those messages, like, near a ladder you need to escape or whatever, and that one's just like, it's harmless, but it's annoying, because it always shows up for me. Mm-hmm. Have I tried hold- <laughs> Listen. I have tried holding with two hands. Oh no, no backstab? There we go. Why no backstab? There we go. It's okay. 
I got the poop. I got the poop. Well, I mean, that guy didn't drop poop. But they will drop poop. Alright, I'm gonna backstab this one. And then this is the wood. This is the wood that betrayed me. That I got stuck on. Oh, dear. The traitorous wood. There we go. Got him. You drop poop. You drop poop. Oh, and a club. Poop and a club. Uh, I cannot wield the large club, unfortunately. I am not strong enough. Um, so I want to get power within. Right? Yeah. Um, it's like behind that creepy insect thing. But I don't know, um... Where the creepy insect thing is. Also, what is in this? Oh, the new launder ruins key. But I don't need that because the master key covers that already. That door. Um, do I like drop down? Is the elevator not on? Or am I missing something? I'm lost. Oh, there's a ladder. Just like in the catacombs, the ladders here are gonna gonna be the problem. If I don't know where to go, it's probably because I missed a ladder. Or a drop down. Oh, there's the creepy insect thing. That's him, right? Yeah, that's him. So that's the direction I need to go. Oh, fun fact, um, these insects, these, they, they're called crag spiders, those are human. Um, we know that because humanity dro- oh, come on, come on, what the- Fighting flying enemies is never fun in these games. But yeah, those crag spiders, that's a human. Uh, see, like, the, the- those are hands, and those are, like, a face that's folded in. We know it's human, um, lore-wise, and it's confirmed by the fact that it contributes to humanity drop as well. Uh, but yeah, those are, like, humans that have been, like, transformed in gross, weird ways. So, how's that for a horror story? Oh my god, this, this, this mosquito. I do not like fighting flying enemies. Oh my god, did... No. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, uh, okay. Ah! Okay. Well, here's the elevator. Oh, fuck. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting shot with the toxic blow darts. And I don't have any blooming moss. Bye, Crag Spider. You're a problem for later. Um, still a problem, though. Uh, do I go down here, I guess? Those fucking mosquitoes. I don't know how I'm supposed to get them if I don't have a ranged attack and I don't have Soul Spear equipped. Like, do I... Oh, and they poisoned me. Lovely. Well, oh, even better. Okay, well, let's go down the elevator. Let's, like, rush for that bonfire, at least. Right? Go down. This swings me down. Um. Rusted iron ring. Um. So I go drink up. I could, I could use moss, but I think I want to save moss for the Quaylag fight. Okay. That's the Crag Spider. I think that, oh no, there's some Crag Spiders down here just normally. Okay. Where is, is this, yeah, this is where the bonfire is. Okay. Rest at the bonfire, rest at the bonfire. Oh, thank God. Okay. 
All right, so this is uh, this is the spot for grinding um, for the shards that I need again. It gets me green and gets me large. Um, right, I gotta. There's slugs somewhere around here. I don't remember where, but the slugs are. Um, yeah, here they are. I see them. So the slugs drop either, like, five green or something like that. They drop a large... No okay. No. I expected them to be slow because they're slugs, but I guess not. Nothing dropped. Okay. There should be a spot where there's, like, multiple slugs. Yeah, they're very close, gross and creepy. Oh, I got poison mist, though. Um, getting lost in Blighttown speedrun. Sorry, I wasn't really looking at the chat because I was panicking over the poison. Oh, also, um, just to address, I think it was Avian Enjoyer? who was referring to the Rusted Iron Ring earlier. The Rusted Iron Ring is basically letting me sprint in this area. I would have to be slow walking if I didn't have it equipped. So, like, just as a demonstration. That's the speed I'm going without it. Like, it's, it's a huge difference. It's, it's a real big deal. Right, where are the slugs? Me running around a swamp looking for slugs. The gross and creepy slug. Oh, I got a large shard. Okay, so we only need one more large shard. Ooh. Um, but I do still need. I do want greens for the fire though. There's a slug. I see a slug. I also see a bunch of mosquitoes. Oh no, that's the corpse of the slug I already killed. Yeah, there's some slugs. Slug. There's several slugs. So these have the same chance as the slimes of dropping things, but they drop more of them. They drop them in multiples. No items yet, but we've got more slug. Boys. They're little big boys. Still nothing dropped, though. Okay, I found Slug Central. Oh, another large. Okay, so we can get the club fully upgraded at least, but I want some greens. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, rip. in peace. Okay, I think the slugs were, like, over this way. Slug Town was, like, this way. But I was very... Yeah, there's the... That's a landmark. That's the little stones right there. That'll be my landmark. I know it's over this way. Slugs got me. 
The slugs got me. The slugs. Okay. Um, we're also gonna real quick before any of that. Before we get too much into, like, the grinding session. The slug grind. I'm the slug- the slugma grind set. Slugma grind set. Um... I do need to make a couple of adjustments real quick. Slugma nuts. <laughs> um... Alright, reinforced weapon. To plus ten. Attune magic. Fire rope to fireball. Just because this gives me sixteen of them and also makes me not have to switch between spells. how they're so fast, but I don't approve of their speed. Oh, I got a green shard just from the environment. No, go away, crag spider. I don't want to deal with you. No, oh, fuck. Okay, 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 okay. More slugs for the slug lard. I am Rinka, queen of slugs. Slugs. Oh, did he? No, he didn't. I thought I saw him drop something. Okay, okay. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. Come on. Get slugged! Okay. Uh, now I gotta... I guess just, like, morning star him. Nothing, still. Okay. I mean, those ones are surrounding an item. Hopefully that's another green. Get you. Oh, Severer. Ah, uh, the slugs aren't quite the sequel to Bones, because they're not really that annoying to kill. It's just, uh, they're not dropping the things I want them to. But, uh, it's fine. It's fine. No big deal. Um, I'll go back to the bonfire. I will at least give this another upgrade, I think. Right? Can I... What do I have? I have... Oh, I only have one, so I need two greens to upgrade this. 
any further than it currently is. Eh, it's fine. Where's the... I lost the bonfire, though. You know what? There's an easy way to get back to the bonfire quickly. <gasps> Teleportation. Yes. Because, like, those souls don't really mean that much. Okay, uh, next up, I want to get power within. Which is slightly higher in... Because I, I don't want this to turn into another grinding stream. So, we're just going to go for power within and hopefully kill Quelag. But I don't know if we'll have time. TBH. Like, I expect myself to die on her a lot. Because Quelag's a... Uh, Quelag's a difficult boss. And the only person you can summon for her is Maneater Mildred, and Maneater Mildred kind of sucks at fighting Quelag. Alright, all the way up. Oh, there's a little... There's a little dog running the wheel! Oh, what the dog doing? That's kind of adorable. Die, crack spider. Um, I don't know if I'm going the right- I must be going- yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Fireball the- yeah, fireball the mosquito! Okay. Uh, oh, there's a blow dart guy. Oh, there's a blow dart guy. Like, if I get toxic to it, that's, uh... It's not great. Oh, the Tinnish Banishment Catalyst! Oh, Remedy, uh, does nothing for me. I don't even actually know what Remedy does. I don't think I go down, though. I want to get to the area with, um, the big bug. The big chonkin' bug. Blight Town is good because you don't fight the dog. Yeah, that makes Blight Town the best area. Fireball Mosquito! There we go. Alright, where's the big honking guy? It's like... Yeah, there he is. Okay, so I'm heading the right way. Ish. It's it's hard to tell in Blight Town. The, the architecture is um. Let's just say it's not going to win any awards. Mm. Oh. Let's get rid of this guy before he becomes a problem. If I had any range. Okay. Um. Fuck. Where do I go? In order to get up there. I hope that No, you can go out the normal you can you can go all the way back without using the shortcut. Um so I must just be missing something. Cause I know uh I know people who have not realized the elevator shortcut exists and gone out Blight Town the way that they came in without the master key. No, okay, that's not it either. Uh Blight Town Blight Town Navigation. In Blight Town, there is no right way. That's... Yeah, that's true. That's true. That is very true. I want Power Within for Quelag. Um... 
I just don't know how to get to it. No. I know in um in Demon Souls there's walls like that you can knock down, but apparently not in Dark Souls. Alright, what if Okay, maybe it's through there, because I know you gotta go through like a sewery place to get behind him. So maybe it's through there, where like those uh sort of tunnels near the elevator are. I think this is too far down, though. I guess we'll find out. There's a crag spider down there. And oh, a toxic blow darter. Oh, no! What the dog doing? Oh, great. I forgot. They breathe fire. I forgot that the Blighttown dogs breathe fire. Um. Hmm. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? I went up the elevator. I don't think you can get to him from going up the elevator. I think you have to go up this thing. Like, this structure is what it is. I think I have to go up here. That's the problem. Uh, and then I climb up this ladder. Hot dog! Yes, it's the hot dog! Hot dog! Hot diggity dog! Oh, don't toxic. Toxic. I'm toxic. I am very to- I'm a toxic YouTuber. I'm toxic because I pillage corpses. Uh, ladder here? I'm not using the moss, by the way. So, like, if I die, I die. Toxic because one poison wasn't enough. Listen, that's the attitude that gave us demon souls. Bleed, poison, and plague are all poison effects in demon souls. Bleed doesn't do, like, the chunk like it does in... In Dark Souls? Oh, I gotta go up that ladder. Okay. Bleed doesn't do, like, the, the single chunk like it does in Dark Souls. It's just another dot. Like, you are bleeding. It's, it's so... It's so, uh... Every status effect is just a different speed poison. Bleed is slow poison. Poison is regular poison. And plague is, uh, essentially toxic. Ooh, I survived. I, I thought I was dead there. I'm out of Estus, though, so something tells me... Something tells me I'm not gonna make it. I have a sneaking suspicion. It's actually not that awful. Other than plague, it's not bad. What is the maximum poison you can do in one game? Um, Sekiro has poison of different speeds, and then it has, uh, fire as a type of poison. Being on fire... And it also, being on fire also affects your, uh, poise. But, I think Demon Souls with bleed, plague, plague is basically just toxic under a different name. Uh, it can only be given to you by plague rats and plague babies or walking in the plague swamp. Oh, that's a lot of crag spiders. Oh, that's a lot of crag spiders. They were having a family reunion. Oh. Oops. I should take it slow. Oh, I should uh, get out of the mosquito's nest. But I should take it slow going up this ramp because it's like a little bit... Eh. Down, two crag down. 
using the club because the Crag Spiders and Quaylog are both immune. Or, or, uh, I don't know if the Crag Spiders are immune to fire or just less damaged by it, but Quaylog is 100% immune to fire. Which is also why I'm getting Power Within, because, um... Like, I might as well use my attunement slots for something. That said, um... I don't think I'm going to equip Lingering Dragon Crest for Power Within, because it makes Power Within kill you. Because Power Within does 1% of your health every second and lasts for 100 seconds, and with Lingering it lasts for 150 seconds. And so, with it doing 1% of your health, it doesn't actually kill you, uh, because it rounds down. But with Lingering, it does 150% of your health, which will kill you. Because on the 101st tick, you get killed. Ooh, tightrope. Gotta walk across the tightrope. Fighting fire with fire does not work. That is correct. Head? Be wary of fall. Is there not a thing? There's gotta be a way down, right? No ladder? No ladder? I think that's where the... I think that's where the, like... Oh, no! I, my tightrope career has come to a tragic but predictable end. The other thing is I'm not sure if I can make it across the swamp without getting poisoned. And if that's the case, I need to ration my uh, purple mosses. Because, um... Like, each purple moss is an attempt at Quaylog. Basically. An unpoisoned attempt at Quaylog. Gravity's back at it. Back on its bullshit. So, uh, I think we go in here, right? No, no ladder. Okay, the ladder was over here. I just didn't know if, uh, there was another... Uh, I think there's a way you can get at the thing from the back, but you might need to come from the other direction to do it. I mean, I've got 16 fireballs. I can probably, uh... It'll probably be fine. Oh, I got a purple moss clump. Someone must have uh, committed suicide by accident. Oh, uh, hello. Yeah, I'd rather not... I'd rather not play this game. Play the game of uh, Ladder Wars. I mean... Obviously, I want to play the game of Dark Souls. But Ladder Wars is not my... Uh, I don't like the ladder game. Oh, uh... Okay. I think we want Fire Morningstar for this guy. Slumbering Dragon Crest. Come on. Spank him! There we go. Um, power within should, yeah, there's the guy, there's the, there's the, well, so, wait, then how do I, how do I get to him? Oh, is it, uh, oh, is it, uh, this, do I have to go over here? Like this? No? No? Hmm. 
Oh, hello. Fuck. I actually don't know how I'm supposed to get to that guy. Um, I should, could at the very least, I think there's a Firekeeper Soul in here. So I can at the very least get that for later. This is also where I think Mildred shows up to fight you, but I might be wrong. Oh, it's a dragon. Boo, nobody wants that. How do I get out? Oh, I go up here. Go up here, okay. Nobody wants a dragon scale. Okay, we'll do this for the crag spiders, and then we'll switch to fire for the uh, poison dudes. Hey, can you- are you not dead? Well, I'm dead. I was wondering why I couldn't walk through the corpse. I thought I one-shot those guys with the club when I two-handed it. But, uh, maybe not? Question mark? Maybe he's got, like, armor on his butt or something. Or maybe headshot bonus damage. I'm not sure if that's a thing with melee attacks in this game. Like, I know that- Oh, oh my god. Stop it. I know the head is, like, a weak point for a lot of- Didn't mean to lock on. These mosquitoes! Yeah, it looks like the head is, like, the weak spot is the thing. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Climb up, climb up, climb up. Because I can one-shot them from the front, but I can't one-shot them from the butt. Their butt is protected. Wait. Did I get lost? I got turned around again. Hashtag just blight town things. Okay, go up here. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Up here. Hello, Crag Spider. Goodbye, Crag Spider. Hello, Crag Spider. Goodbye, Crag Spider. They're all facing the other way because they expect me to come from the other direction. Okay. Um, right, I go up this ladder. And then I go up this ladder. So let's Estus first, so I don't die to poison. Um, 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 and then through here, and then up, probably. Up seems right. Oh, hello. Okay, and then. I want the fire morning star for this guy. Because I think these guys are, if they're not weak to fire, at the very least they're not resistant. And the fire is more than the than the physical damage. Then we fireball him. I mean 191 feels like a lot of damage. So we take it. And then. Okay, so I accidentally just, like, procced that guy to do his ladder dance. So, yeah, I don't get it from killing him. I get it from it's behind him.
Or it's underneath him. Okay, so I could just kill him with fireballs and then pick it up. Okay. So I don't know why I was, uh... I don't know, I don't know what I was trying to do earlier. Crack spider, go bye. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No. Sippy, sippy. Crack spider, die. Sippy, sippy. And run, 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 run. Okay. Um. There we go. Kill you. Kill you. Right. I keep doing that. I keep walking across this bridge, but it's like... It was for a single item, and it was- that's not the path forward. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. And then go up. Did I want- no, I wanted to go up this ladder is what I wanted to do. And you go in the next sewer is what it is. And then... Fire Morning Star? Backstab and set you on fire. Okay, and then we backstab this guy. See, all of this, all of this that I'm doing right now, this would not be possible without murdering Briggs of Vinheim. So, in a way, uh, it was the right thing to do. Because the slumbering dragon quest ring. Ooh! Uh, hello. Can I interest you in being set on fire? No? Okay, have a nice day. I want to save my fireballs for killing the big insect guy. Oh, no, I can't justify no bottomless box or second club. Um, I do want to change my magic up. It's Griggs who I killed that it was good to kill. Um, the only reason I killed... The, the guy who... Uh, the guy who sells the un, the reinforced clubs is the undead, the male undead merchant. Griggs of Vinheim. Uh, fuck that guy. He, wa he wants to kill Big Hat Logan. Well... Maybe, possibly. It's it's unclear. Oh right, fuck! I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to do this. I mean, like a lot of the lore in Dark Souls One, the character motivations are unclear. But I'm pretty sure Griggs is gonna kill Big Hat secretly. Like, the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring, plus, like, some other stuff that you find. He never does it, because, like, the end of Big Hat's quest, Big Hat dies anyway. But the idea is that, um, if you believe the theory, which I do, um, Griggs was, like, keeping an eye on him for the Academy, and if he got too dangerous because Big Hat's like wanted to study um god damn it I did it again uh if cause 
Big Hat wanted to study crystal magic, and it's, like, dangerous, as you can tell from, like, him getting all crystallized. But, um, if he, if he, like, ended up being dangerous, Griggs was gonna, like, put him down as, like, Yeah, so he's not just Big Hat's apprentice, he's like also... It's less explicit than Petra because Petra will actually kill whatever her name is, I forget her name. But Petra will actually kill the future Firekeeper um, if you don't kill him at the end of her questline. Um, he also like talks shit about her when she's trapped down there. Um, he gets like more and more evil the, more, the farther along their combined questline goes. So it's, like, pretty explicit. I mean, it is explicit because he does kill her. Um, it's unclear why. Like, it's unclear if he's being... He's acting on his own or if he's acting under the orders of the Way of White. Um, because her two guards went hollow before... Like, it's possible that her guards were all gonna kill her and the Way of White wanted her dead. But I think that, uh... I personally think that Petrus was acting on his own. Alright, and then there's this last guy. There we go. Set your butt on fire. Get close, but not too close. No? I can't tell if I'm damaging it or not. Oh, uh, yep, I was damaging it. Okay. Uh, and then here's power within. Okay. I mean, that's a cool 5,000 souls that's, like, almost certainly gonna get lost now. Because, like, I'm going to die to Quaylag. A lot. But, uh, I guess Blight Town is a good grinding spot if I need to. <laughs> LOL. Because uh, I got to kill those slugs anyway. You know what, actually? Fuck it. We're heading down! Um, Lilith, can you do me a favor? Yeah, what's up? Can you double check? I'm pretty sure Quaylike is also immune to poison, but can you check if she is? Uh, can I switch Quaylag? Um... Doesn't look like it. She is highly resistant, though. Oh, uh, so Poison Mist probably isn't worthwhile anyway. Probably not. Okay. Equipment. Let's get the Reinforced Club. Um. Equipment. Put the Pyromancy Flame in the... Oop. Put the Pyromancy Flame in the left hand. Oh, I'm poisoned. There we go. Okay. And then equipment. Yeah, I think I think the weed shield is good because of the increased stamina regen. Even though I think crest shield probably has more fire resistance. All right. Um. Where is it that I go now? Um, I go like to here, right? And then I have to wait. Oh, uh, I gotta kill this crag spider. And then go across over to here. And she's up that hill, if I recall correctly, right? 
I'm just trying to get across without being poisoned. Because I really, I really, really... Nope, okay, I can't. I was like, I really hope maybe that path would do it. Alright, now we go up to Spider Hill into Spider Town. Spider Town! Oh, I hear the bell. Someone killed Quaylug. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we're, what, five hours in? It's about to get an NSFW. That's not the NSFW part. Ooh. Girl, give me your nails! Right? Also, I wish my hair were long enough to do that. Mine's getting there. Yeah, same. Zippy zippy! This is actually going better than expected. That. I almost first tried her. Holy shit, that went a lot better. Like that went a lot better than expected. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, let's uh. Okay, so what we'll do, what I'll do actually, is um. I'll probably equip something other than the rusted iron ring before the boss room. Like maybe I'll go RTSR, and like. Obviously, I can't maintain RTSR with Power Within, because I don't have, um... There is a way to do it, actually. There's a way to make RTSR and Power Within both at the same time, and it's, like, ridiculous. It's referred to as Hyper Mode. Um, you can make it so that... So there's a shield that regenerates 2 HP per second, and there's a way you can make yourself have less than 200 HP, so RTSR and the shield equal out. Right, let's uh Oh, someone's behind me. There we go. Alright, what do I what do I have for rings other than rusted iron that I could potentially equip? Um Yeah, I think RTSR is the one because I still haven't gotten BTSR. Um BTSR would potentially be nice as well, but uh, I do think RTSR is the way to go. Okay. I could also go for Lingering, but uh, I don't think this fight is going to last long enough for Lingering to actually matter. Okay, that fight went less well. Eh, a little less well. Little, little bit, little bit. It would have been great if I first tried her, but yeah, I'll, I'll take the, I'll take, I'll take my licks. Actually, you know what I might do? 
I might, uh... I might actually just go in poisoned. Since I'm gonna be losing health from RTSR anyway. I'll be losing more health. But, um... Or, I'm gonna be losing health from Power Within anyway, I mean. Um, I'll be losing more health, but it means I get to RTSR faster, and I have to take Sippy Breaks anyway? It doesn't seem that bad to go in Poisoned. At least I can try it. It's Spider-Man. I eat her. Oh, see, that's what gets me. That's what gets me. The exploding spell. Um, that's what gets me. I think also I need to not lock on. That's the other thing I need to do. Is no, no lock on. Okay, we're poisoned. We're poisoned. I think, uh, actually, I think Mask of the Child is probably the best one I could have gotten, because Dad Mask is HP, and Mom is total stamina, right? So, like, neither of those are going to be especially high, because they're percentage-based. Neither of them are going to be especially high for me at SL1. So, like, actually, Mask of the Child might be the best of Pinwheel's Masks for me. Like, come to think of it. Or no, one is equip load. Equip load could potentially be nice. Yeah, let's traverse. I need you to get out of the lava. Oh! I knew it was happening, but I was locked into my jump attack. I knew it was happening, but I got locked. I got this locked into the attack. And, uh, just spamming the dodge button didn't get me out of it. Surprisingly. You know, you, you would expect that spamming the dodge button gets you out of an attack you're locked into. Because historically, that's what happens in Dark Souls, definitely. Definitely. Not, uh... Not my fault at all for getting locked in. Nope, definitely. Oh, I'm not wearing the nope. rusted iron, alright. No, I'm not. Uh... Honestly, not even that bad without the rusted iron. Like, I should have put it on. Definitely. Um, I think you can actually get through without getting poisoned if you... Put the rusted iron on. At the very least, a higher level character can. I might not be able to. But, uh... Cause just because I don't have poison resistance for it. But yeah, like, that's why I think the hate for Blight Town is, like, it feels bad. It's, uh... It, Blight Town has bad unit feel. Oh, wait, did I fuck up? I think this goes away if I go through the fog. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Sometimes they do. We sippy sippy. Oh, 
I got caught in the lava! I didn't know there was lava behind me. The lava. <sighs> the lava. Still, um, I'm getting close, and it would be nice to close the stream out on the... a victory. Bye, Crack Spider. Oh, uh, hello, Poison, my old friend. Well, if we're poisoned anyway. There we go. Yeah, I really think that, I really think that Light Town, like, gets too much hate. Climbing down is annoying, uh, because it does have a little bit of that, like, platforming in Souls feels bad, and, like, it's not platforming, but it's narrow ledges, and, like, it's annoying for that reason. Alright. Alright, Spider Milf. You're going down. Alright, Spider Milf, you win this time. <laughs> Um, if I do kill Quaylog, that is gonna be basically the end of the stream. Um, I am going to do one more thing after killing Quaylog, is intentionally get infected by the eggs. But then that's gonna be it. That's gonna be good night. Um, cause it's, you know, it's getting late. It's almost, uh, it's, it's close to bedtime. Yeah, it is. Um, let's wait for the poison to completely die down. Hello, Crag Spider. Oh, fuck! I didn't expect you. Okay, well, that learned me my lesson. I won't try to cross the, the swamp without getting poisoned again. Quaylag's domain. It is interesting that, like, she gets a whole, like, named area after her. Alright, this is probably gonna be cutting it a little too close with the poison. Like, I'm probably gonna already be in RTSR, and then I'm gonna have to, like, sip real quick. Yeah, I'm in RTSR already. That damage, though! Like, those were light attacks. That damage, though, was ridiculous. Those were light attacks, and two of them dealt almost 900 damage to her. Damn. And she's not, she's not like a low defense boss either. Like that's the power of red tearstone ring. I mean red tearstone ring plus power within combined. Yeah, you don't really get that much room to roll. Um. I think my only two playthroughs of Dark Souls where I've gone through Blight Town the in quote unquote intended way. Um, like after I killed Gaping Dragon and then went through. Um the first one was my first ever playthrough, which I was a giant Havel great sh I had like Havel's shield. I don't think I have a Havel's shield there, because you get it later, but I had um like I was doing the Havel play. So I had heavy armor, good shield, and I was relying on blocking more than dodging. And then the second time it was a sorcery, and I could snipe people from far away. 
so you know I had uh I, di I didn't have to deal with the fact that like do not being able to dodge sucked ooh, ooh. let's sneak a hit sneak a hit sneak it no I can't risk it sippy 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 And away, and away. Woo! Sippy, sippy. Sip, sippy. Okay, buddy. Okay. Woo! Spider Milf dead. Spider Milf is down. Ooh. Um. And now I can feed souls to Frumpt, and now I can like act, like progress. Um, like that's ringing both. Well, I'm about to ring the second bell of awakening. And ringing both bells of awakening is like a big deal in terms of progression for SL1. I think. I mean, and also in a vanilla playthrough, it unlocks some more up. But more so for this, because, like, I can feed stuff to from. So I'm probably going to be able to plus 10 my Pyromancy Flame, which means I can buy from Quailana. I'm very happy with this. Uh, I, feel, I feel accomplished. Gargoyles was harder, I will say that. Uh, Gargoyles feels like it was harder. I guess I could have gotten power within for Gargoyles, but, like, just getting 2v1s... It's no bueno. Kind. They give you a homeward bone after you ring the second bell. That's actually, like, really kind. Um, where is the illusory wall? There's an illusory wall somewhere around here. That lets you get to the fair maiden. Yeah, being able to sell stuff is a pretty big deal. It's down below- Oh- Oh, okay, okay. Um, down like here. Didn't even end up using Flash Sweat, which I expected to because, you know, most of Quelag's attacks are fire damage. But uh, then I just, like, didn't. Is it uh, to have to go further down or is it around here somewhere? Oh, it's here, okay. Uh, now this guy is not gonna talk to me because I don't have an egg on my head. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? Mm. But you have no eggs. Ah, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Oh, I guess he- I thought maybe he just doesn't sell to me if I don't have an egg? Now I am one of the Spider Maiden's people. Um... Right, I... Can offer human. I don't have any humanity to offer. Um. Are you prepared to dead them? I will if you need some. Oh, I don't even have to. I thought I had to be infected with an egg for him to like. Oh, so he won't sell me his pyromancies. 
if I'm not infected with an egg. So there is still a reason for me to get infected. Okay, so I'm gonna go get infected. Um, BRB getting infected with an egg. I mean, the good stuff, they're not really that good. It's, uh, it's like toxic mist and acid spray and stuff. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Buddy! Like, attack me! I'm kicking you. I'm kicking you! Well, that wasn't a kick. Well, and the eggs aren't, the eggs, the, or the worms aren't going to give me eggs, but I need them to, to give me a hug so I can get an egg. Oh, no. Uh, back here again. Fuck you, crack spider. But yeah, it turns out, uh, the poison actually helped me, like, because I could activate RTSR easier, I guess. Alright, maybe I can kick one of these guys and get them to... No, no, kick. There, yeah. No... Here, maybe this will help if I'm like just not dealing damage to them. If I accidentally punch. Alright, I punched you. Can you infect me now, buddy? Yeah. No? No, give me a grab. Do the grab attack. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's going to be it for tonight. Um, I'm gonna sippy sippy. That's gonna be it for tonight. I am gonna let the stream run for another five minutes if anyone wants to stick around and watch my character get infected. Um, but, uh, I am going to be leaving. Um, I'm gonna be muting my mic as well because I'll probably be moving around in the background and, uh, muting Lilith's mic. So, yeah, thank you for joining. Um,. Thank you for uh, all the comments and all the, the chat and whatnot. It's very fun. Very small number of people. Uh, but I actually like that because it lets me, like, interact with y'all individually more easily. Um, and everyone in chat has been awesome uh, so far. So, uh, I love y'all. You are great. Have a good night. And, uh... Again, this is going to run for another, like, five minutes just so that she can get infected. And we will start out tomorrow infected. Probably sometime around four or five. I haven't really f figured out when. It'll be another short one. Um, but, yeah. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye.